announcements, and I'm gonna go get water. Okay. Yeah, I'm also gonna move over to the stream chat if you wanna join me. Uh, great. Sure. Otherwise, no worries. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Long time no see, Cross. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn, bro. On one hand, shit, you right. On the other hand, bruh. Alrighty. Make sure ad breaks running. We have the uh, goddamn announcements. Uh, I am gonna get water. Because I need water. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. Oh wow, Welcome the rain's back. like actually stopped for like over an hour. What do you know? How rare. 
for Californian weather. <laughs> for me to be able to say that. <laughs> I, uh... Oh, you seen Niji Sanji on fire again? I've been saying that that place is a dumpster fire from the get-go. Uh... Uh, ba 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 boy. All right, but how y'all doing, gamers? Hope everyone's doing all righty. Hope everyone's doing okay. Mwah. Let me. First off, this swimsuit Hanako art. Mwah. Chef's kiss. <laughs> uh, it's my new background photo. Uh, second of all, let me launch Genshin. <laughs> I thought I launched Genshin before I left, but apparently I didn't because I'm fucking stupid. Um, don't mind me. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I don't have a space on my phone for the new event. My laptop's charging port needs to be fixed before it can handle Genshin. Uh, play this in my place, good sir. Scratch that, delete some old apps and that works. Yes, sex. Dude, she releases Thursday. And, um, I have, uh, over 400 polls ready for her. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go hard. Uh, like, that's all I'm saying. I've, I've got, I've got, I've got... Here, let me show you just how much I fucking prepped for this bitch. <laughs> let me show you how much I fucking prepped for fucking swimsuit Hanako, bro. I've, <laughs> I've, I, 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 I'm, I farmed up everything that I could, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. I haven't seen the news crop. The news of what? Outside of the, um, outside of the the the, the Gabagool issues. Um, Niji Sanji is actually fucking over, bro. I've been saying Niji Sanji has like, you know, has like a personality problem for a very long time, because they're they're they're, they're it's been clear that they're full of both nepotism and like favoritism within like their talent. Like I don't, I, like I'm sure their JP side is fine, but their but their fucking um their English side has been a mess since since the get go. And I've been telling people to, like, don't bother with Niji, right? But, like, no one listens to Cross. <laughs> Despite the fact that I'm right, like, 80% of the time somehow, um, with the other 20% being like, well, you are correct, however. Uh, bro. All right. Uh, I did unmute Genshin, right? No, I didn't. I'm stupid. All right. I'm back. Welcome back. First of all, uh, uh, first of all, um... Uh, 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 Hot Springs, uh, Chinatsu. Oh, sex! And you turn me into a fucking scuff. Got it. Uh, but yeah, no, look how much gems I have. 50, I have, I have, have 50,000 gems. I'm fucking ready. That's all I know. I'm ready. I, I'm fucking ready. I'm, I'm prepped, bro. This cross I listened to, bro. I swear to God. Alright. I hate it here, but okay. Uh, understandable. For better or for worse. Alright, my DPS Zhenyan team. Here we go. Uh, we, we have the new, uh, we have the new, um, Inazu Inazuma? We have the new, <laughs> we have the new Liwa event. So, um, we're, we're gonna do that. I still haven't done the specific Zhenyan character story quest. Um... Yeah, and we're getting a Pentaconi within the day. Yeah, too. That too. That too. That too. Um, I'm decently prepped. Uh, I'm pretty ready for. Uh... Yo, okay, wait, wait. First off, yeah. I um the traditional Liwa fucking uh from the. Yo, look at this. God, all the fucking lanterns and shit every single fucking time, bro. This oh, god, this game is so pretty. <laughs> on top of all the, uh, she got terminated on top of all the harassment she's gone through from management, and and then she was oh man, prepped farmed the wrong black swan map. No, I mean prepped as in polls. I've got polls ready. And something funny. Mwah, thank you for the lurk gamer. Look at this place, bro. And welcome back, Cozy. Mwah. Thank you. I hope she can go like independent and get something that's better than uh. What she had to deal with. The the thing the, the thing though is that both Hollow Live and um and and uh and and and, and Niji Sanji 
pretty much require you to give up your old VTuber identity and take out a new one. Which so I hate that, it's, without it's, a doubt. It's, it's, it's awkward. For for all of its faults, uh, V Shoujo at least lets you, you know, work with your own model, keep your own model afterwards, even when you leave. Even when, <laughs> even when you're shit like they, they bitch, you know? Like... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Apparently other livers, uh, harassed her too from Niji. Yeah, no. Like I said, Niji's a dumpster fire place full of nepotism. And, <gasps> it's Catching and Charlotte. Ooh, the cuties. I remember when Fizz Queen Kaching was a thing. <laughs> well, I was there. Oh, Fizzo. Uh, yeah, but... Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. A kite? And on top of the, uh, that, the termination notice, Niji said it was her fault. Yep. The corporate bullshit of pushing the blame. Every time somebody messes up, oh, it was, it was, our, it was our executive. That's why we're paying them the big bucks, so we can blame them later. If something goes wrong, okay. instead of taking responsibility as a fucking company, fuck Niji Sanji has been trending yeah. all day on Twitter. Good. Like holy shit, that termination post was oh, very yeah. unprofessional and... looking. <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's lantern rite is kites. Mmm, doing kites oh, this time. That's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. I definitely hadn't noticed the kites until you guys pointed them out to me, but got it. Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. The Chishin believes it would benefit Liwa to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Remember my business meeting with Tian Chuen Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue Harbor? That's what it was about. Ah. But all I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. I mean, networking is cooperation. Fizz Queen Kaching, then the dumpster ass end user licensing. <laughs> True. Uh, on the bright side, however, her whole name tag is back on activity. It's regaining all the traction. That's good. Happy for her. In the end, we decided Hell yeah. to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Yeah, that's really good, considering the bullshit she had to go through. Yeah. Mechanical vertical lifting device? Mechanical lifting device? What does that mean? Sounds pretty impressive. That could mean anything. Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. Ah, uh, because sometimes there's not enough wind. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. Mm. Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Yeah, for so for the, when there's no wind. Plus, Got the it. The easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. I will always stand by a Xenoblade fan. I mean, a blind run implies that they haven't played it before, unless she, you know, unless it's blind run as a fan specifically, but uh, or unless you mean a Xenoblade enjoyer, because that's that's pretty broad. <laughs> Either way, that's not a I'm bad gonna idea. preface this. This is nothing I'm not gonna uh, preface and say this is nothing to do with uh, Slan, but uh, standing by a Xenoblade fan is a kind of a odd thing to say right now because saying a certain person that was a big fan of it that uh, had some controversy. <laughs> Xenoblading? Who, who, who was the person that had controversy over Xenoblade? We also gave uh, quite a bit not of about uh, Xenoblade, but he was oh. a big fan of it. Much more uh. than a traditional kite. Ooh, turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys. It's almost like regardless of the, the the media you enjoy, there's good people and bad people in every crowd. Right. <laughs> yeah. Toys? They're not exactly... Toys. And 25 Fox streams, ooh, 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 kisses. Mm -hmm. 
Mako. Mwah. The 25 stream streak king. Let's go. Does seem to be nice. everyone's first reaction. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time-honored cultural relics. Oh, when Xenoblade 3 first came out, I watched one of her runs and she played the pass game. Ah, okay, okay. Now. But to me, there's so much more than that. <laughs> Catching to cultural offense that you calling her kites toys. <laughs> About how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. I wonder if they're going to show up, uh, Kenji's going to show up in her other outfit for this again. The weight of mm. cultural traditions. Probably not, but it would be nice if they used, like, skins more. There's an old poem Just introduce yeah. more skins, too. Kite, Thank you for up. finally Seriously. introducing Fine three skins at a time, but once again, travel, you know, polish a turd, it's still a turd. Just give us more skins on the regular, Jesus. In the past, <laughs> poets from Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of longing or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. Just give us bikini splints, skins for everyone. <laughs> everyone just has bikini swimsuits running around and catch. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we'll, that, we'll, we'll, we'll make it. We'll make it equal gender. All right. We'll put the man. We'll put the men in you know banana hammocks and uh, and 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 and, uh, and thong. You know. Just do that, and then have the event take place at Dragon Spine. Yes, gender equality. <laughs> Dragon Spine. <laughs> it'll it'll be once we hit um hit, hit, hit the you know the Saritza, uh, uh the Saritza release will also include bikini skins mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when we're in Shnaznaya. <laughs> oh, that's a double shot. That's a double jab. <laughs> oh, Saritza. Never mind. I was thinking, uh, what's her name? Ash pile. Oh, Ash pile. Yeah, no. We'll we'll, we'll 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 put a we'll put a saucy uh uh one piece uh v bikini on, on the on the urn you know. What about something more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. My grandfather told me that back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. Back when I was a child. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. You can call her Ash Pile, I call her Twink Stomper. Not a, well, you say that, but she hasn't been able to stop a lot of twinks since she became uh, an ash pile. So, uh, <laughs> you tell me which is more relevant at this point. Damn. Then you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names. I mean, not wrong though, but damn. <laughs> cut the string and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. I also find it funny that like there's there are cultures that use kites to fight with, like as in like they they have kite battles where you fly kites and you try to use your kite. To cut the other kite's string and send it flying away. So the first thought that came to mind when you said kite fighting, I thought I was like literally strapping bombs to a kite and then trying to drop oh, bombs on people. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck you, Charlotte, for making me get C1 Farina instead of a four stars. Farina's constellations are really good though. Fascinating. Next what rerun, just get C2, and then, and, then, and then it'll be a good thing. The scissor-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small... Gorilla Kite Fair! Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Yeah, you, you fill up the, uh, the, 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 the bamboo strips with uh, napalm. Oh my god. You know, crash, <laughs> crash it into your opponent. Hmm, I believe well, this so. turned it even darker than I expected. <laughs> heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. What if this if camera shot? Reference, 
Are we being peeked on by two random old men here? That, would be a that doesn't feel challenge. weird at all. Yeah, what the hell? Great. Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. Oh, I hope it goes well. Perfect. We're gonna take a look around. <laughs> Paimon, perfect! I'm bored of this conversation. Goodbye. Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Nobody tell him nobody tell him what? I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying the short contest on the night of Lantern Rite. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. That just isn't very much good, like, the termino- the- the termination notice got- wait, what do you mean, got community- wait, got community n noted? What? Community noted? Huge W? First of all, yes. Second of all, I'm- I'm still a little confused. <laughs> the rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit. Like I feel like I should know what that is, but I'm, I'm a, it's escaping time. me right now. Yeah. <laughs> I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. All right, we'll be there. Oh, time on going Random to old men. Time. Yeah, it's the beginning of a fucking doujin. Then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. Community notes on Twitter is basically crowdsourced fact checks. Yo, oh, that's what you mean. When, when okay. like, when, when you have like a note from the from like a community, be like, oh, this is this is like actually factually incorrect, or like, oh, this has been confirmed by these and these sources. Yeah, yo, that's a huge W. You yeah, massive W. Awesome. Once again, I've been saying that Niji Sanji is bad for a while. At least EN Niji Sanji. I don't know anything about the Japanese side. But I, I, I know stuff about Ian Niji Sanji, and I, I've been telling people, like, don't bother. Don't support them. Because you're, 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 you're not helping things. And if, if anything, you're giving money to the people that are making things worse for the, for, for, for the creators. Like, uh... I'm assuming you mean just the, the staff and not the talent, just to make sure this comes out No, it's, it's both. Both oh, really? staff and talent are awful. There, there are not, not saying that they're all awful, but there are there are there are there are members of you know Niji's En uh, e En talents that you know were you know, not being treated well, and I've and and I've brought it up a couple like not a lot, but like in, in when, when Niji Sanji has been brought up, I've brought it up a couple times that like it's not it's not just rumor and hearsay. Some of them are like actually being you know mistreated, um, and and you shouldn't support Niji Sanji because of it. Right? Uh. Is it just Yeesh, yeah, that's rough. They've been staring at us the whole time we were talking to Cook King and Charlotte just now. Hmm. They seem fishy. Haha, -ha, they were creeping. I agree. Wait, so it wasn't just Paimon. Paimon noticing something? Wow. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? <laughs> they always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Rite. Oh, Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. Foil their plans before they even begin. <laughs> Wait, that was actually kind of that was actually kind of cute. Paimon just zooming around like that. You I go like first. that. Will go last. It kind of it kind of uh, Paimon. Wait, you dumb bitch. It kind of felt like you know like like a, like a manga panel come to life. It was kind of neat. Sure. I kind of like that. She's gonna shank him. Such an air of urgency that you appear before us. I mean, find it kind of funny. Paimon shank you someone. Believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. Wait. If this guy turns out to be Mountain Shaper, but they only gave him a basic bitch NPC model, I'm going to be very upset. Oh no, that would what? suck. I don't know either, so... Um, if that's like... what this is, I'm about to be very upset. You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy. Oh my god, they are, huh? They've, 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 they've got anime random hair color streaks. They are, huh? They're the Adepti. And they didn't even get a, like, like a custom model. I'm actually fucking upset. That's really insulting, actually. Like, holy shit. Look, I get that Zhan Yun is the what waifu character... Mean, but I was I was very excited and hoping that they get like custom character models and release as full characters later. But this just confirms that we're never gonna get that. Sally, yeah, that sucks. Uh, oh yeah, the blue oni, that guy that was basically literally just a generic NPC was blue horns. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, um, there's no secrets before two such as yourselves. 
You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Ho Jong. I wonder if they'll ever go back and like actually take like use it if they make that playable and make him have an actual character. Well, it's, it's not like they're gonna rerun events, so it's not gonna matter from their perspective. But it's I still mean, annoying. Make him, want to hold your I would mean like play like make him a playable character. Yeah, I still can't get over Moon Carver's VA is the same as the Traveler. True, right? Good range on that bat. Nice actor then. Yeah, <laughs> but yet they never use his. Indeed, <sighs> Moon Carver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm. I like the dogs visit. in the background just having a good time. Yeah, he's just, he's just having a good time. He's just vibing. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you did your research. But in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. We'll go straight to the Millilith and have you arrested for... I mean, this was Star Rail. The main character actually talks a decent amount and Blue Archive. Yeah. They just don't have a talk at all. That's not half way. All right, I, I am going to have to ask you to prove yourself just a little bit, though. Right. Tell us something that only an adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. <sighs> During the last Lantern Rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's Supreme Cuisine Machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? Yes, I remember. The flavor oh. of that soup was more than enough to wet one's appetite. Cloud Retainer's easy to bake up in his house. Tanjiro as a deer. <laughs> my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Bro! Uh, <laughs> did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? They're one beefing! Is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. They might think one bears no difference from cloud retainers. Oh, is this a Moon Carver's uh, model? Just, the breath um, waste on just an edited version of uh, that one storyteller guy in Lee Leeway? Uh, kind of. Because he's, he's like the black, red, and white crane, right? So he's got black, red, and white accents. He's got some bird-like, you know, motifs. You can see, like, the little wing feathering. Like, they've got, like, additional work in. But they're generic NPC models, either way. Oh, I mean Moon Carver. Ma, thank you for trying to free me from this curse. <laughs> Mudkip, no. <laughs> Uh, and, Again, and, I. Re and you Sorry. mean Mooncarver, the the deer man? What about him? Yeah, Sorry. isn't he just basically like that storyteller leeway? Like his boss is the storyteller leeway, just edited. Probably. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. All the NPC models are somebody else, but edited, really. <laughs> yeah, true. Also, you really should put a timer on the model changer. Uh, <laughs> how are you streaming? Hmm? How are you streaming? I thought you can't stream weekdays. Uh, my, I, I, I already made an announcement post that school got shut down because of all the all, all the crazy California rain right now. There's like, uh, some parts of Cali are having wow. near hurricane level winds, bro. Like, and and my, and my school, like, some people drive like two hours to get to to get to nursing school because there's not enough nursing schools in cali so they're like yeah so we got to think of like both the staff and the students so um we're we're shutting down one day just when we're gonna wait out to see what the weather's gonna be like so yeah but welcome back rubber and kuda yes mudkip immediately i i feel like i feel like i'm being played tug of war uh, uh on on the midnight hour uh in, in a cinderella movie being dragged back and forth across the timelines <laughs> ah yes i am free i have turned back into what i am meant to be and then bibbity bobbity boop <laughs> turn into a marketable turn into a marketable plushie <laughs> Uh, I'm slowly getting Blue Archive installed on LD Player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for some reason, Kozak's having some issues with LD Player. Wow. But, uh, for being wow. Yeah, let's see. How do I do this? This is just water under the bridge, right? 
Actually, yeah. I don't think I can do this. Yeah, take it as a com compliment to the quality of your disguise. You indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. Paimon's still curious about something. It's just... Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but... Why did you decide to come to the city, Mooncarver? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. <sighs> It is but an inevitable eventuality. Long what? the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move to Liu at Harbor. Oh wait, I think the event assumes you played the Cloud Retainer story. I haven't done that yet. With Lantern right near at hand. <laughs> That's an interesting way to do it. Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of works. the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. What you trying? I'm Beth. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful <laughs> Did you disable the other one? <laughs> Not abuse! <laughs> one must never rest Mod on abuse is real, XW. <laughs> I, just wanted, I just wanted to see if I could do Since it. Since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue at Harbor, we had to travel here I guess back up. to avail ourselves... <laughs> I, I think I will put a, I, I think I will put a timer on it, though. Out of stock? Does it really say out, out of stock? stock? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll, I'll put, like, a five-minute timer on both, I guess. That's a good idea, honestly. I think that yeah, would just yeah, make it yeah. a little bit better for everyone involved. Yeah, the, the 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 messing around with clothes, I don't think I need to put a timer for, but um, but the other the other two, scuff box and normal box, I sh I should set like a five minute timer. Um. Uh, admittedly, that does mean if scuff box gets redeemed and immediately normal foxed, then I can't be scuff box for five minutes. So you can get locked out of scuff box regardless. I'm just, I'm just saying. Out of stock, my thick ass. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing the timer though, because I'm like this. I, this was just goofing around, but I'm. Like, what about I'm normal up. fox holding scuff fox? Ooh, that's so cute, actually. I should look into that. I don't know if that's now possible, but I should look into that. But so, one, one thing I'm, I'm like, I know this is just all in good fun what they're doing, but I'm just worried about one situation where it gets hostile in the chat or something because people get it. You know, people Kaima. sometimes be people. Given one's <laughs> understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. Mm. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. Interesting. What do you mean the other way around? One and Kuda, I got ass, oh no! Refused all company and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. However, if you do There's an easy way to get rid of ads. Tabs with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Sure, Subscribe yeah. using your Twitch Prime. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 and I would, I would say if only that got rid of the ads, but I think technically it does if you're a sub. <laughs> I just wish that that didn't have to be the case, right? Like, thank you for your kind words. If, uh, like, if I could turn off ads, I would. Genuinely, but it's being forced upon us. So I, I I've set it up so that the ads are, uh, well, I, 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 the ads like the the manner that I need to to prevent as much pre-roll as possible for new people joining in or people just joining in. Um, make as in, in base, un, in, in, uninvasive as possible. I guess. I mean, you right. say that, but that still means that every thirty minutes I have to do a one and a half minute ad. And that there's three minutes of ads every hour, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in practice it kind of becomes a lot, right? No, uh, no, I mean that you're trying to do that as best you can with the way how. Yeah, yeah, it is. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. Your, your, your streamers don't really get very much choice. Let's be honest. I'd rather have a minute and a half every thirty minutes than pre rolls. Fair, <laughs> cause pre I, I've I've had a pre roll go like twelve minutes, bro. <laughs> are you kidding? And pre, pre rolls are like, you click on a streamer because you're like, oh hey, I want to watch the streamer, and then you get a pre roll, and you're immediately just okay. I'm not watching them. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Uh, this yeah, because it's like it's not worth it. Yeah. It's been selling like crazy over the so past the pre days. like the pre roll ads can be actually twenty minutes long. Uh, yeah. They, especially, especially if like for any reason the stream buffers in the middle of you getting pre rolls, 
it'll just load up a new set of pre-rolls behind the current pre-rolls. And it won't even, like, stop the current pre-rolls and start you from the beginning. No. It buffers pre-rolls. I, I've, I, 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 people have reported up to, like, 20 minutes as a result. And you, you can get up to 10 to 12 minutes uh, of pre-roll ads. To, That's Which disgusting. is insane. Fuck Twitch. Of Seriously. Course. The JT and Sachi! Thank you for the lurk. I hope you've been well. Mwah. Hope you're taking care of yourself. Everyone was talking about adding sex to Cult of the Lamb, but nobody was talking about adding Glock. My boy is strapped. Wait, did they add guns to Cult of the Lamb, or are we making a Power World reference here? Power World's supposed to add sex, too. So. <laughs> I'm shocker. Oh, yeah. Zoe. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, there's Well, they said if they hit 100k. And they did. And dies. Oh boy. I cosplay Cult of the Lamb. I love that game. Hey. Are you talking mods or are you saying the official? No, like the okay, the the official Twitter said if they get 100,000 like followers, they they would add sex to Power World. <laughs> and because, the thing be, that, like... because Cult of the Lamb said it as a meme. Cult of the Lamb was like, oh, if we get 300,000 followers, we'll add sex in the next update. <laughs> Alrighty then, that's what I expected. But, but Power World was not expecting to get as popular as they yeah. did. Yeah, and then Power World was like... <laughs> now the question is... Yeah. Now the question is, uh, can, will they keep their word? <laughs> Boy, that's gonna be an interesting... <laughs> Wait, but the Cult of the Lamb did add sex though? Hold up. Wait, what? I'm what? sorry, what? what? I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to you I have many time. questions. Te technically Power World to do. What? It's breeding. Oh, wonder yeah. what that place yeah. is like during Lantern Rise. Paimon would love to go take a look. Update is very fun. Sex nudity trunk cultists. They added a breeding tent as part of this sin update. My god. Sins of Death yeah. Flesh, my god. Well, I guess they weren't lying when they said they'd do it. Holy shit. <laughs> I respect it. Is yeah. charming the guard you just mentioned? Look, you, 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 like, it's different when you're, like, a person, and be like, a person's like, oh, yeah, well, I'm just shitting around. But, like, uh, like, uh, like, a big corporate, like, 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 a, like, a big, like, corporate slash, like, business entity that's, like, receiving money from people have to keep their word, right? Then... <laughs> I clicked a follow the button. You better follow through, is what you said. I had to do all that work for it. The problem is, many of my colleagues oh, have taken leave during Lantern Light to spend time with their families. So, our available work. All I know is that I expect uh, 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 a three P segs between uh, me, my 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 character. Zoe and Lily by on my desk by Thursday. All right, pal <laughs> world. <laughs> my bet you're sorry If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start <laughs> on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. They also added a tailor so my followers have drip. Hell yeah. Oh, wonderful. Uh, you will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. Yeah, what pal world mods are there? There's a mod for that Mewtwo and Egyptian Lucari Mewtwo. There's a Mewtwo-like monster in uh, in Pal World. I didn't know that. I think oh, I think I know which one now that is. It's like I think it's they're a talking normal. about Luna Lunaris. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, it does kind of look vaguely like uh, Mew uh, Mewtwo. What? Why? Why? Yeah. yeah. Mewtwo Mega Evolution Y. It does it does vaguely look a bit like that. Yeah. No, I've seen the like lingerie mod of it. Lingerie mod Among Us. <laughs> That's not what I expected here. <laughs> What'd you expect to hear? Wait, I thought we had. No I don't know, but just not that. Revised him some tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, scowl like that for much longer, and your face might stay that way. Hey, oh now, my God! Remove pal revive timer, Pog. <laughs> oh, that's what we have to grab. Less restrictive no building. Way, Gami. You're and that. The one picking up the pal time. info. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just has handy. didn't expect you to come from behind to win like that. <laughs> that was nothing. Visible pal oh, capture counter. <laughs> Ooh, it's a red Ching Yun. A little bit, yeah. Oh no. Zoe. The, the, <laughs> the timer means that I'm permanently going to be staying Scuff Fox. Unless you wait the timer out, redeem Scuff Fox while I'm still Scuff Fox, and then redeem Normal Fox. And then, and then, and then you. And then, yes! And then I'm locked. Uh, and, and then I'm locked in, baby. 
N should now you know the ultimate power. Should they both go on timer? They're, they're both on timer. The problem is, uh, they did normal fox, but doing normal fox doesn't put scuff fox on a timer. So then they just did scuff fox after, so I'm just scuff fox again anyway. But I mean, yeah. shouldn't they, like, when you one gets redeemed, shouldn't both go on a timer? No. You can't do that with Twitch. You can't, you can't do uh, that on Twitch, because Twitch is stupid. How useful. Oh, it must have been long door. Looks like I've got work. I gotta go. Unless, uh, unless, I might, I might want to look up into a, um, a completely new command slash redeem that just toggles between the two instead of, like, two separate swapping. But the, that, that's a lot more complicated well, than what I've set up. Sure. Holy Not shit, anything. this is a great mod. What? Not something Let's to do on stream. When you get Infinite weight in camp. So Infinite what? Oh, that's so oh, good. Oh, nice. Infinite weight. So yeah, when, when right. you're inside the borders of camp, you get a million extra carry weight. <laughs> Let me take them off your hands. Yeah, we need that. Yo, you could play as Sparkle. <laughs> Sparkle? Yeah, from Sparkle. What's up, baby? Uh, I, I don't know what that is. I hate making material. I, I, I hate the fact that she's called Sparkle. Oh. I I so hate the fact she's oh. called Sparkle. I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Put it I, in the power world. I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally so turned off from her because she's called Sparkle, bro. And you must be What's wrong with Sparkle? It's nice to meet you. It's such a Experience. dumb name. Jesus Christ, there's so many codes. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, They all shit, work. Man. They all work, too. Joe's Joe's ass with the fucking plug, bro. Quite a bit about you two. Right? You're quite well known around these I remember places. seeing a meme of, like, Stell as Oprah being like, You get a redeem, you get a redeem. But Jesus Christ, I At least Sparkle from Honkai is hot. She's cute. I don't know about, like, hot for me, but she's definitely Yeah, she's de she is definitely not hot. She's cute. Yeah. Running around from place to place. If we're talking hot, it's fucking Akron. Mm, God damn. <laughs> oh, mommy. God. God so, damn. Yeah. Yep. It's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elong Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. Also, it was we'll Paolo. I really hope we get that fucking like memory lake thing I'm patched out so we can so play it me. in the server. Please. Trust me. I know my way around. We can explore. I, I wonder we how I could, like if if, if we can around. mod the server we though. Can stop and grab a bite when it's time. I, I would imagine. I, I I would hope, but I don't know if that's a. I don't I don't know if that if that's actually possible. The ingredients are fresh. The I'd imagine. Are generous, I think it just we well. Won't make the bank. I don't know how it works. I can't say anything, anything, but yeah. Order anything? <laughs> uh, with Pedicotti, we'll we'll find out another Trailblazer because unlike Genshin, at least Trailblazer is viable. Yes and no. Mm. I mean, cause like. The thing is, in in the mid to early game, yeah, Trailblazer was, was viable, but so was the Traveler mid to early game. It just end game, all the end game Traveler variants haven't been that great, except Dendro. Dendro's still not like amazing, but Dendro Traveler is very usable, right? Um, but you I mean, know, past past Nahida, I'd say he's like second best Dendro. Yeah, exactly. Part part part. No 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 no. no, no. Well, off field. Yeah, off field. Yeah no. Um, I I think best. I, well, I think best Dendro off field is. Still, probably um, Nahida. No, it, yeah, it's Nahida, no, it, no it, question. It's Nahida, and then isn't Baiju mostly off field? Yeah, kind of, but he doesn't apply like a lot of dendro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it, like he needs to be on field to apply a lot of dendro. True. Like, um, like he he's he's more so like he, you bring him for the healing, and then you get a little bit of dendro application okay, on top of that. Okay. Okay. Whereas Dendro Traveler is like you bring him for the Dendro application. Yeah, that's true. And, you get, and, and, and then you get a little bit of damage on top of that. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's true. That's true. Yeah, Dendro Traveler is actually very good. Um, yeah, it's like his competition is like what? Before way? it goes on maintenance, <laughs> mostly. Yeah, I pr I pretty much did most of my Star Rail stuff, um, if not all of it. I, I I fought my three weekly bosses. It's it's no big deal. It's no big thing. Um, you can play as Clara. Hmm? Oh yeah, I saw that. That was adorable. You could do what? Oh, in Power World? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you nice. Um, I also saw Noelle as a choice for that, too. <laughs> I finished the new Pure Fiction. I didn't do the new Pure Fiction yet. Because I know oh, I, I know there's going to... I know I know there's going to be a Battle Pass, uh, you know, requirement to do Pure Fiction and to do Memories of Chaos. So I purposely hit, I held off. Um, let's see, I'm going to take care of that later. to do weekly bosses. <laughs> yeah, true. But, like, you can fight weekly bosses without spending anything. Unlike, uh, unlike the regular fucking, um, unlike the regular character map bosses. 
Okay. I thought you needed to spend stuff to fight them. Um, what, what, once, once you uh, run out of, uh, what, what, once you run out of, like, the amount of time you can fight them, you can't spend resin on them, but you can still challenge them. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. They're the, oh, they're the only boss enemy that you can do that to. Weird way to do it, but at least you can Don't do it without a spend for the, for the yeah, 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 yeah. It just shows how close you are. About to have some food soon. Rice with lemon, pepper, salmon. Yo, salmon is just great. I, I'm yeah. so I'm so upset that like rich people have ruined salmon because salmon used to be cheap fish. It is no longer a cheap fish. You need to pack anything up before we hit the road. I can wait. If we can't eat salmon, let's eat the rich. Yes. I think they're always eat the rich. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Eat the rich. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna test I'm gonna test this. Scuff fox into normal fox. And now I am locked out of Scuff Fox, oh, baby. Back to normal, baby. <laughs> if you run into any trouble, you can count on me for five for minutes. I freeze. Guard, after all. I saw this person get a nine hundred and wait, not like like nine point nine million plunge attack with Farina. What the fuck? That has to be like a C six Farina that also has Hydro Infusion, because that wouldn't make sense otherwise. Yeah. It's probably like C6 Farina, C6 Jianyun, C6 Kazuha. And then also Bennett. Yeah, and like Bennett or some bullshit <laughs> like that. So it's a, it's a whale of towel. <laughs> Joyful beast in appearance. I really like the fucking, like, like, like the, like the semi-cartoon art style live 2D stuff that Genshin does. It's all very yes. cute. Wait, this one doesn't unlock for a day, and that's the one with Jianyun. Okay. Get fucked. All right, um, go to Chenyu Vale with Gami. Okay, I would do that, but like, okay, it turns out it, it it feels like it feels like they have they kind of expected you to do the Jian Yun quest before you do the Lantern, right? So we're gonna do that. I'm I'm gonna pick it up. Go to Mount Dao King. Farina, Jian Yun, Yelan, and Klee. Oh, probably C2 Klee for defense shred. Yellen, um, Yellen ult gives damage, uh, damage increase, and if you have an elegy, you get more, you get more damage amp on top of that. Uh, Farina's, um, Farina's mechanic will increase damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see it. I can see it. I still remember the first time we came here. We even brought offerings and everything. And when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, you know how many seed oh, yeah. boils I would do if crabs weren't so fucking expensive? Yeah. Shrimps are getting costlier, too. To get along with. But now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. So we probably don't need to bring any offerings. Tell me a shrimp fried this rice. Well, Tell me right? a shrimp fried this rice. Still, my mom's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use It's that almost like if you treat your players with respect, they'll like the game more. <laughs> True. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Huh? Traveler, did something catch your eye? I've never seen that person before. Huh? What a pretty lady. Is she also Like, here if they're not going to give us the whole event, at least give us more than they do for the events. Mommy. <laughs> Mother. Mommy. 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 Yeah, you're right. Here we go. Oh, Dress Hina really replaces Flower Doll. So Hell yeah. Special. Flower doll? <laughs> I have no idea who Flower Doll is. Yeah, I don't know what Flower Doll is, but but Dress Hina, mwah. Oh, I've seen that. She looks great with that dress. If we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association. Right? Friends by association? Where are the th free three wishes? I didn't see them when I logged in. Yeah, I mean, we're going to get them at some point. So, only if you don't get it can you whine about it. But also, we deserve more than just three fucking pulls. Jesus fucking Christ. Meanwhile, the drama is still ongoing. Is a part of time on Scab as your reliable guide. The Niji Sanji thing, or...? Helping you no. get more bitches is no. part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. Paimon's got this! The whole Genshin drama bullshit. Oh. Uh, that we shouldn't get into, because it's... Yeah. <laughs> everything's Hello. fucked. Yep. Got it. Everything is on fire. Yep. Uh, Atsu's apparently toxic. Tectone we all have always known to be toxic. Like, it's it's always a mess all around. <laughs> yeah, but Atsu's even more toxic, so. <laughs> it's hard to imagine anyone's more toxic than Tectone, but. I mean, <laughs> it's happened. 
Uh, Cross, what is your background? Oh, you mean my, um, here, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just show you in, in the downloads folder. Uh, so this is, um, uh, Blue Archives, uh, Swimsuit Harako. Uh, and you get this skin, uh, skin? You get, you get, you, you, she's, she's releasing Thursday on the 8th. And, uh, they have a little web event in-game where you unlock, uh, where you unlock this, uh, 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 PNG art. So, uh, yeah, that's my new, it's my new, it's my new, it's not, it's my new background I mean, right now. I, keep I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I have wallpaper engine and I just put the swimsuit Wakamo as my background, so. <laughs> The, still... the live 2D one? Yeah. yeah. It's just one Sorry. of those games where I just enjoy no the game and fan art. That's it. Just like Danganronpa. Based background. <laughs> but um, I, what's that picture? I keep forgetting her name, but I just like her. The background was like, like no sign. Yeah, no Koharu. Yeah. But we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Majestic? You two... What is this tomfoolery? Has this shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Yes, you're 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 so mommy. You're incredibly mommy right now. I can't. <laughs> Wait, you you can play as Klee. Huh? Amazing. You're the illuminated bird? Play as Klee whips out rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah, if, if you play More as Klee. More <laughs> accurate Klee. If you play as Klee, you all, you're only allowed to use grenades and the rocket launcher. <laughs> One no! Wait. Such Mako fucked up somehow! Mako fucked it up somehow! Get fucked! Uh, sorry, I was looking at your wings, Ulu. Yes. Somehow you glitched it out, Mudkip. Get fucked. <laughs> Get not fucked. Show Kozak this mod. Uh, but also, Ara Ara. The Noel mod? Mama. Yeah. That's the one I'm definitely using. <laughs> No, sorry, I, I meant to say Mudkip, but uh, I, I, you also have to understand, I, I usually say you as Mako and Mudkip as Mudkip, but they are also Makoto, the Mudkip, so sometimes my brain shorts out. <laughs> I was just too quick with it. Yeah, you were you were so quick with it that fucking VTube Studio couldn't keep up. <laughs> so, uh, I need to cap my skills. Yeah. Because... Fastest fingers in the West, Mako, uh, fucking Mudkip. <laughs> You almost did it again. <laughs> I almost did it again. Was that Uwe Harper? Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply oh, a way to make public matters public domain suspicious. expansion. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Time for you to get fucked, Gooby. This is the last time I gotta catch you sleeping with my wife. <laughs> my God. You worrying about? I still remember that video I saw of like the someone just using the. Steamboat yeah, Mickey to say, make it say um, all, all, all like a bunch of awful things. <laughs> Get fucked, Disney. What are you gonna do about it? Didn't Mickey have a dog? <laughs> yep. And I'll fucking do it again, Mickey. <laughs> yep. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't, 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 don't forget, Mickey. I have a child. I've got carnal desires. But <laughs> I hate you, Cross. I really fucking hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> And you're my best friend, Mickey. <laughs> and if my wife is dead, I'll just have to borrow yours. <laughs> <clears throat> I just remember the war Mickey and Goofy pair. Oh, that one's so good, though. <laughs> that one's legitimately so good, though. Oh, also, Paimon's brought you gifts. Reminds me of when you play the Ace Attorney games. Man, I love Ace Attorney 1 and 2. We don't talk about Ace Attorney 3. <laughs> we, we do not talk about Ace Attorney 3. Ace Attorney 3 is the best one, though. I, I, I couldn't, I like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't stomach I, lo I love when Phoenix does the thing. I, I could I just couldn't stomach it for some reason. You know, the, the objection thing? I, lo I, I love it when he does that. <laughs> that's that's the best in three. Well, <laughs> it's a very low bar you're setting right now. <laughs> was it because of, because of that Godot guy? Yeah, yeah, that Godot guy was really stupid. And they're like, yeah, you gotta take him really seriously. And I'm like, uh, you know, the game is like, oh, take Godot seriously, take Godot seriously. And I'm like, what? He's literally just pulling things out of his ass that doesn't make sense all the time. I don't know. Time travel one? No, you're you think about the great uh. Uh, the Great Ace, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Great Ace Chronicles, which is, um, the historical, like, you know, 
there we're talking we're looking at the 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 current characters like ancestors version um i like yeah. the time when he said it was a turning time and proceeded to a turn <laughs> what the love yeah. how you doing cutie i think the problem is going on is like they're trying to do the other thing with the other like they have the other enemy attorneys usually had their own kind of like thing but they just did his terribly yeah like you know they're, they're like oh be so intimidated by the way it's my first time being an attorney and i'm like what do you mean? I'm, I'm not intimidated by you then and then it's like haha except you know uh I, I i make up this rule for court all of a sudden that for some reason the, the judge goes along with despite having no legal precedent and like ah <sighs> like I hated going out more than the ones that were supposed to be purposely just hateful, like like hateable, like the just complete asshole ones. No, because like <laughs> at least the other ones were like you know like good villains with good writing. Goto was just why why does he exist? Like he yeah. literally killed all of my enjoyment for each tourney. One plan to extend the invitation, even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Shunhan Ganyu should be. Quite He's friends with the laws. <laughs> All this ace attorney makes me want the lunchbox for some reason. Yeah, you simp. <laughs> I remember why. Well, which, you know, admittedly, good fucking taste. But also, I know why. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys know about this Blue Archive character. But, uh, hold up. Let me, let me find the image. Uh, open image, a new tab. Guys. comes back with Blue Archive. It's, 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 it's she's literally me for real for real. <laughs> oh yeah, the G7 one. She's double. she's literally me for real for real. What uh, is that? Proof I see no lawyer. <laughs> yeah, we just found ourselves missing. What's that character's name, Cross? Kazusa. We were hoping okay. to tell us one of your stories. I love I love the sad you Farina. Yes. We fucking fucking the Shinji fight Farina is so good, bro. Like, actually, this is my favorite thing. She also comes in blue. What the fuck does that mean? Hmm. Is that so? She looks like the girl from Zom 100. <laughs> if there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Oh, cool. She uses World War II gun also. Yeah. So that shall be our first stop. I love that Cloud Retainer has fucking bird talons at the end of her fingers, though. Oh. What the heck was that noise? I love a woman that could fuck me up. <laughs> <sighs> you say so many things, Ross, and you ask why I mess with you a lot of the time. There's another girl exactly like her, but blue. Oh yeah, the uh, the Sonic support character that's not like out on global yet. One talent the number of times she returns to Mount Alpha each year. Shenhe has also secured employment recently. In her correspondence with me. She wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. Huh. They think one was so easily mollified. One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. All right. I just wanted to make sure to hear out her whole conversation without it getting interrupted. But now that we've heard her, or heard her out, we can teleport. And Kuda, mwah, all right, all right, fine, Kuda. I guess you are my little fox champ. Come here, come here. Kaka! No, no! Don't die! Don't die! They just loaded the cutscene. Don't die! We need more. Back. Shut up! We need more Justice Task Force in Gehenna. Absolutely. The fact that Blue Archive doesn't have a Gehenna storyline yet is 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 weird. Oh, it really does. I thought it did. Is she a chicken? What is she? A, she's a crane. What do you mean a chicken? Bitch, I'm a bird. Wait, where did she bird go? up. Bird up. She's still back burr, there. Burr, burr. Quietly now. One shall stay here. You two can go and meet with her. Uh, but why? Isn't it better if we all go together? How are you enjoying her? I love her. Um, I'm turning her into a DPS. I don't care who asks. 
If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, I love Cotton and Asuna, but Satsuki's neuron activation. Oh, I think I know who it is the Pandemonium Society girl, the ghetto girl. Huh? Hey, so LD play is finally done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, open image in new tab. Yeah, truly neuron activation. Uh, she also tries to do like a hypnosis thing in the game for some reason. Uh, look, I need the Daojin where she hypnotizes herself. Okay, okay, thanks. Uh <laughs> oh, her? Yeah. Give. Give. Take my money. <laughs> Give. One does not wish to trouble her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well being. Again, well, do not Time to uninstall blue, uh, here. blue stacks now so I don't have to deal Fair with enough. that. Thanks, <laughs> Hypnosis, you say, where do I sign up? Cloud Retainer? Oh. You're a bad influence, Cross. Look, Mid Midnight's probably more into it than I am. Oh, I need Makato. Is that lady someone you know, Ms. Ganyu? It's weird she that is indeed. she has sorry, Makato's she... name, but... But could we delay <laughs> the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my point. schedule today Mapoko is quite Blue full. Archive? Yeah. Oh, no. I need her. I could move some oh yeah, she's releasing in uh, three point oh, in, in in thirty year anniversary. It gets really confusing when we're now talking about three Makotos at uh, once. I like her design, but I don't have a Zhao or a Farzin. Well, you don't need Zhao. She turns everybody else into Zhao. I, that's the point. Um, if you need her to be a DPS, you do need Farzin. But if you don't need her to be a DPS, you don't need Farzin. Um, because she what she does is she turns other people into Zhao. For example, so like D Luke's got Dragon Strike, so he's got a place again. Um, hit me what she looked like, Makoto. Uh, she she's you know, uh, she's a fucking idiot. But uh, uh open image in the tab. But she's got pretty solid design, right? She's got like this big old weird steampunky box sniper thing. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, and she's the leader of the Pandemonium Society of Gehenna. Oh, um, um what was that thing called? I know what that is. Yeah. I, I know what that sniper rifle is. Yeah. Uh, the hey, yo, smash. <laughs> the Walther oh, WA 2000. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, like, she's, uh, she's Gabagool. Uh, she's kind of a moron, but, um, you know. <laughs> Morons are fun. I, I oh, love yeah. I, I love I love my woman like I love my coffee. Fucking stupid. <laughs> cross, cross. Did you ever see Owlbert's reaction to the the music video? The, the which music video? I also the, don't know who Owlbert is. You know uh, Owlbert the the Star Rail Owl streamer. Oh, Albert. Oh yeah. What, yeah. what about him? Well, he had a reaction he... to the two point music video. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. No, no, I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm trying to remember where it is. <laughs> oh, nice oh, here it is. Worry, Miss Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements I found it. right away. Thank you, Weishin. Yeah, I'll just put it in fucking Star Rail chat. <laughs> it's been a while, Ganyu. Greetings. What it is a Reddit link because I don't know how to link videos from Reddit. Too. <laughs> it's been quite some time since I last Does this saw you have the Twitter store. problem also? No. Nah, it's just you have to you have to click on it to get the video. Mm. One is not okay. acquainted with this cloud retainer. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Thanks, Twitch <laughs> double cross screen. Hey, let's go! No I'm kidding. <laughs> uh -huh. who's like, what? Mom, I recognize you, Mom. Johnny saw right through. Uh -huh. that was... I, I can't believe we got out buddied by test. Albert though. One did not expect you to be able to recognize Out one's buddy. <laughs> Especially after so yeah. many years of only seeing one's other form. She looks totally bewildered. She's thinking, why wouldn't I recognize you? I used to see her every day. How bad do you think my memory is? <laughs> but recognizing you is, uh, my responsibility as your disciple. And daughter. 
and apt observation. Also, the fact that uh, One was simply the way she was talking is a dead giveaway that it's her. Mm, and the color scheme. <laughs> yes. To pay you a visit while in the area. I'm just your average mortal. Meanwhile, looks like a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh character. So, but it's been so long since we last saw each other. Oh. Uh, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. A more involved reunion. Mortals do not simply fun, refer to themselves as such. Hard. Indeed. Exactly. Indeed. 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 I understand. That should be fine. First we have Dark Magician Girl. Now we got Dommy Bird Mommy. Wait, who's Dark Magician Girl? Work that you have I'm trying to, to think who that is too. Lisa? One must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause great... The Dark Magician yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh armor is so fucking weirdly out there that I don't know who you're referring to. <sighs> it still makes one nostalgic to see you as you Man, are now. Man, I want now. Blue Archive to release Hatsune Miku again. Dependent. I do too. When you were young, you <laughs> one to cuddle you Apparently, to sadly... For nightmares. Ooh, cuddled. Ooh. Let me see. Cloud Potato. I, I need Stop. to see that cuddle uh, represented again. Just, just, just right now. Here, I'll, 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 I'll whip out a bed for my Adeptus teapot. <laughs> if you insist, we are running short on time, regardless. So one will refrain from going into each and every story. Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall simply stand by and listen. <laughs> While you discuss some of your um, recent adventures with wow. Ganyu. You've been to so many That's what I've been saying. Hashtag free spoke. Miku. Genshin artist Gerard now. Please just come find me at your high pavilion. I think um LD player actually has a better graphics than uh blue stacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Just just make sure once you're in app you tweak some settings. Oh I did, and that's why I'm saying Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer. But if you plan also, to maybe now my, my, the role won't disappear in the victory screen. Don't you think it would be helpful to adopt a human name? A human name? Huh. You raise a valid point. Considering the sheer extent of one's renown... Didn't everyone used to compare to Jin to the Yellen? And now he looks like Farida? Yeah, he looks like he got a spare outfit, bro. You really think so? <laughs> Oh my god, this runs so much better on this. Yeah, it's 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 you it's night and day. The extent of one's illustrious achievements, one would hardly think such a thing to be possible. Bro became Walmart for Rena. Well, you say that, but he still does some god tier damage. On, when in public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Shenyun? That just proves mm -hmm. that it's Genshin Genshin true one and two. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she can Farina. handle a lawa churl. <laughs> uh, True. A reference to the full record Hashtag Churl. An adeptus of years past. We're getting Toki Bunny again. Man. She's part of Standard Banner. They were enlightened and wise. You can just We're get getting Toki Bunny forward. again. <laughs> just more like crazy for the next. I I need I need Neru Bunny. I I don't know about you. I need Neru Bunny so bad, bro. I need Seems adult like Shuriko. Yes, Kuroko. Also, Kozak's not at that point. Just be cautious. I mean, I'm not either. <laughs> were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. Well, I'm confused by this. And what of it? Have you seen Swimsuit Amy yet? Than a bird of bigger than average size. Uh, so I didn't know that that existed. Well, <laughs> hey, yo, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. hold up. This is this is this is what Mako is seeing right now. Uh, you have the stream, and then they're playing an ad, but it's not showing him the ad, it's showing you the regular stream. So my actual stream is minimized right next to it, so I'm just getting just getting double double crop. That's hilarious looking. <laughs> That's amazing. Not exactly. 
totally uh, not what Pybot had in be mind. Fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her so past who are we getting Thursday? Sun Tzu Hanako. That's uh, it. Uh, yeah, it, it, it'll uh, that banner will have double uh, double three star rate, so it'll be six percent versus three. Um, it'll also, uh, allow you to have a chance at the hyper-limited units, like Sun Tzu Hoshino, Wakamo, um, uh, Mika, and now, uh, the new Sun Tzu Hanako. So, yay! It is I see, we're not getting any other Sun Tzu's? Long, long time ago, uh, there was a severe no, but in there media. should be one more Sun Tzu event no around choice. the corner after this, Many theoretically. people left their homes, while others so cross, I just saw Mo is alt. to the Adepti. Samo is all yes. <laughs> Just a fucking incendiary oh, rocket brought from a helicopter. Yes. Holy shit! I told you you'd like it. Is enough to gain a visceral understanding. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm a war criminal or something? Cross? No, time. we just enjoy big booms, and we cannot lie. On top of the drought, a noxious gas also began to spread through the you land. Incendiary deniers not for can't deny. Containers efforts. Much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland. I can sing the song Lee Nublet Toothless Dragon Dance. Help! <laughs> the books had this to say about what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Immediately, the clouds gathered together, and abundant rain burst forth from the heavens. Drought and plague were both driven away, and the people were saved. Mm. That's incredible! Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought. And even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Even so, you stopped an entire drought! Can you really control the weather like the book said? Oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. Uh, so it was Paimon I saw a compilation of every dragon from both Honkai and Genshin, but also March for some reason. March? March 7th? Doing the toothless dragon dance? Name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey the world. Is she? Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? Spoilers. Bro. Uh, I, 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 need to, I, need, I need to I need to see Don Hong do the dance. <laughs> So, did this beef just only show up recently? Because I only heard about it recently, but those movies stopped a while ago, didn't they? Which movie? Uh, the, the meme is kind of recent. Let's see when it got popular. No, you're recently. a meme. Have you any thoughts <laughs> on her workplace? And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? Well, this is the most Asian mother question. How much money are you making every month? Show me your taxes. <laughs> does she find herself overly uh... She 2D animated toothless to dancing to the song Driftvale City from Black and White. <laughs> there is no cause for concern, Cloud Retainer. Oh, apparently it was just uh, the Lord one like dancing lizard meme to recently. Driftvale. Wow. Oh. being swamped with customers. And then somebody just remade it with toothless and it just took off for some reason. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah, that is the dance. I see. Ah. Most excellent indeed. One has had the pleasure. My far is in a C5, she needs C6. She's on rate up right now. That's all I'm saying. While her father is loyal and reliable, means. one has no cause to believe that they will make Shenha's work difficult. That's the precursor. <sighs> now, it is almost time to partake in the vittles of noon. One shall visit Four years ago. restaurant in person and see how Shenha is doing. Vittles. Uh-huh. But didn't you just say that you had something important to do? I uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? <laughs> you may return to your work, on <laughs> One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. I've already pulled Cloud Retainer. Don't want to risk an unneeded C1. Mm, that's kind of fair. I mean, well, yeah, you're, okay. you're you're risking fifty fifty, but also, what's a, what what are the constellations even? Constellation one. White clouds at dawn gains an additional. Ch oh wait, hold up, what? What? Oh no! N next 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 rerun. Next rerun. Next rerun. Next rerun. Next rerun. Not now. Oh, is that the I, jump thing? Yeah, mm -hmm. I I need to get her her weapon first. Next rerun. Next rerun. Next rerun. 
I like how you, you call it her weapon, but it's, it's Yai's weapon. It's her weapon now. In fact, it was not an excuse. One is indeed visible. Well, near it's her weapon for a DPS Jian Yun. Yeah, I know. It's still, yeah, it's just funny. The moment is not yet upon us. I need it. Still, I need it now. Will be revealed to you in time. Huh. On her rerun, baby. Be playing up the whole mysterious adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard oh, that cool story I need about it. A I Major. need it. Major. Wait, Shenhua is working the counter. You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from a presence of a fine lady. Ah, you? these zimps. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? You do it. No, no, no. I think you should. Wait, she's coming. What can I get for you today? Uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to... If you're not a customer, get the fuck out. <laughs> what would you like to order? Uh, two servings of more meat to go. Uh, good chat. Bye. They immediately intimidated. <laughs> I mean, they should be because they're who she is. <laughs> and what she could do to them. She can yeah. lift like a mountain, like pretty easily. She can crush them with the grip of her fucking hand, bro. Or literally Welcome. just throw them so far oh, away wow. that they just die on impact. Take your order. <laughs> Balls crushed, but with the oh, Dark God. Souls font. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome us as guests and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's weird. Been a while, Shen, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, and this is. The meme might have been based on the lizard. Came from an animation of someone retelling how to train a dragon in seven minutes. They just decided to not draw the wings because they're so much funnier. Really? Uh, this is. I see. Hmm. Master? Huh? Huh. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. How were you able to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? I've trained and lived with Master for more than ten years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. Ah, what a dutiful daughter. You. She's going to cry. Is something the matter, Master? Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. And check out the great Zinian great is really too. just the doting mother. It's yeah, she, she truly is. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, are you here for Shenha? The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shenha. So, I've got things covered for now. Go ahead. Sit I, I, I wish they, like, made friends. more, like, I'll custom models in, in, in fucking uh, Hoyverse games. Like, right? I, like, I don't mind that, like, the generic NPCs are generic, but could you, like, put any effort into, like, semi-major characters? Like, like Xiangling's, like, dad... And she's, like, a major character. Fucking, uh, like, Timaeus is, like, constantly fucking present in quests, and he's still got a generic-ass model. Like, come, like, come on. Like, that, no, that no, one, no one's gonna, no one's gonna complain when you secretly shadow buff their fucking, you know, aesthetics. Please, just do something. Also, like, Thank that, uh, storyteller in Leeway, like, he's semi around a lot, a decent amount, it feels. Uh, he, he, he's, 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 he, he has, like, very little actual impact on, like, story stuff, though. I, I know, but he's still... Crystal! How you doing? Hey, Thank you for the lurk. I hope you're having a good Monday. Cheap and tasty, chop sewer! Oh, that guy, that lady. I almost said that guy. I'm stuck. But I mean, I know the story doesn't really have an impact on the story, but he does show up a decent amount. That he feels like he would want something at least. <laughs> the owner of Wandy it's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, lurk at packing for a trip. Hey, no worries. Uh, ho hope the packing goes well, and hope the trip yeah. is uh, is goody, and that the weather is good because weather in California is fucking wilding right now. <laughs> Still, you can say that again. The work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult? Should get better for you, weather Shepherd? for him. <laughs> it's been 
unmanageable. It's Puerto somewhere. Rico. It's hot as fuck. I well, I hope there's at least some, people, you know, cool but winds. I figured out a way to deal with them. You know, there's always a joke about the villain having like a weather uh, um, changing machine, but wouldn't that be a hero thing? Because he could change the weather to some good, actually, too. Yeah. That's what you point out. On one hand, jeans in the heat? Oof. On the other hand, uh, you know, Puerto Rico. Fuck bugs. Yeah, jeans are not an awful idea. Just get like slightly thinner ones, you know? <laughs> Foxboy, random questions. What do you like in a salad? Uh. Uh. Spinach. Cucumber. Uh, Mudkip, you're doing it so fast. You're doing it too fast. You're actually screwing yourself over, bud. <laughs> this is the second time. Mudkip's got the fastest fingers in the fucking West right now, bro. First, I try to talk sense into them. If that doesn't work, I threaten them with violence. I threaten them with violence. Point, they usually decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. I like Shen, huh? I, I love how much of an Amazon woman Shen huh is, bro. Oh, a sensible plan. That's what my ex Why used to say. To you integrate so well into human society. And you, Master, how That's have you been? That's pretty gay. Simply marvelous. Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, one has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. I see. Oh, just as expected of Master. What she means to say, she actually misses the two of you a lot. I have missed Master quite a bit, too. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Oh, you did? <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. There's hardly a need to keep one in suspense. <laughs> I was feeling lonely without you. <laughs> Send it a bird, Mommy. <laughs> You have a really good personality, with, like without a By doubt. Way, She's just fun. Master, since you are in Liyue Harbor, have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? Uh, indeed. She is similarly preoccupied with her work. There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. Ganyu told us the story of Clabertina James. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. I still remember the first time when we met Shenha, she almost caved two guys' head into the pavement because they were annoying her. Yes. I see. If I remember, they really case, deserved it, too. To yeah, yeah, they kind of did past. deserve it, though. So. Amazon Mommy Shenha. Sometimes I hate scrolling through Reddit. <laughs> oh, that, that's never a good thing oh. to have to say. <laughs> I was just uh, going through Star Rail, and it's... Uh... Did you ever realize that, that Fantilia master? does a gamer lean in her boss fight? To be a good topic of <laughs> oh my god, you're right! <laughs> <laughs> In the final round, she's like, wait, I actually have to yeah. take y'all seriously. Hold up. <laughs> Leans forward. <laughs> That's amazing. That's pretty good, honestly. I, I never considered it like that, but you're right. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Master once participated in a race against Moon Carver. After Moon Carver lost, he insisted oh, I, I found an image that is literally cross. Gave her a natural edge in such a contest. <laughs> that could be in a lot of things. Master agreed to forego flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. <laughs> it's it's, it's crossed. Only to find Master Wait, with a brand up. new what? device on the day of Where's the Where's it at? Oh, yeah. Uh, Star Rail Chat. Oh, okay. This is literally mean simulated universe. <laughs> I keep telling everyone, Auspicious Star is the best fucking blessing that no matter which path you grab, you should get Auspicious Star. Dead ass. No cap, no question. It is, and, and if you can refine it, even more worth. Huh, what kind of device was it? It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. What was it called again? Oh, an electro-powered bicycle? Wait, she made a fucking electric motorbike for a fucking race? <laughs> oh, you refer to the bicyclical Thunderflash mobile. Bicyclical Thunderflash mobile! And crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy. And it can cover thousands of miles in one day. Thousands of miles in one day. Let's say for the sake of that argument, that's 3,000 miles. Right? 3,000 three, 3, miles, 24 hours. So that's 125 
uh, mile of uh, miles an hour, and he can keep that up for twenty four hours. She, this, this, this woman just made a fucking super bike. Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. I need art of Jian Yun in a skin tight like biker racing outfit. On, on, on a fucking like souped up Ducati, bro. I I need I need this now. I dead ass need this now. I need her to look like the fucking Dulahan girl from that one anime. I don't I don't give a fuck. I need this. <sighs> oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I don't know the anime, but I know that character you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, Zinyan fucks, bro. I second this. Shadow creates the blue eyes jet dragon. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. Anyway. Salty do da da da? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Master, that was the end of that story. Is that so? Huh. With you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. The headless biker Dulahan, yes. Without spectators, after all. Have you been lonely, Did she ever Master? find her head? Lonely. God knows what must be happening to that head. One's age, oh, cross! It's, oh my it's, God. it's in a Japanese anime. God knows what that head's been through. <laughs> In the land, there's a new currency called Sin. You can use it to re-enter purgatory or just upgrade cult aesthetics. Uh, her head was put on another bitch. What do you mean? What the, wait, wait, hold up. What does that mean? Like, on another Dulahan? Or, like, or did somebody, like, get fucking beheaded and they put a Dulahan's head on instead to, like, try to save her or something? How would that work? Would that be too, like, would it be According too to artists a lot, yes. Oh, dear God. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, would it just be the same person? Like, or would it actually be the body's personality on the new one? I don't know. That's a this good question, right? <laughs> yeah. It's nothing. It's just... well, it also makes you wonder, does the, the like, if, if the head ha do the head and body have separate personalities when they're separated? But all it took was a few that was a good question, is it? It's like your best opponent's just a little bit confused. Oop. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? Paimon, why not both? People allow to be multifaceted. To me, they are both master. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and Some adore. random girl stopped going to school. Nobody knew what happened. Then someone th thought they saw her, but she had Selty's head instead. Then I never finished it. Ah, okay, okay. Huh. Interesting. One finds oneself exalted yet again with sweet words of praise. I like the characters in Durara, but I didn't find the actual anime very interesting, so I, I never got too deep into yet it. You refuse to grace Mount Speaking of head swaps. For any extended period of time. Well, that's <laughs> wow, what a fucking, of your what a fucking sentence. All right, all right, I'm listening. This is not uh, to say that your words paint an inaccurate Nahida's story quest. One has always lived by a single or the, ideal. Nahida's a first story quest. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the no guy, one. the bad guy? One does as uh, one pleases and speaks vaguely. as one pleases. Others may critique or praise as they see fit. Uh, I'll, I'll put an image of him against in chat. Such right. Let me know if he reminds you of anyone. She got, like, what? sentences of flattery from her disciple and it's as if her ego is about to burst oh yeah i remember him now yeah he, he was trying to create like a like like a perfect dream world or some shit he was trying to become a, the god of a new world and shit why why oh, yeah, that mother, why that motherfucker look like aizen bro he Doc doesn't look like aizen yeah, a little bit to me i don't know dr fraction what he looks like a ratio wait oh my god wait hold up you can <laughs> <laughs> he does, wait, he actually does look a little like Ratio, don't he? Knock off Dr. Ratio. Dr. Fraction. Dr. Ratio? More like Dr. Uh, rations. Hey there, could we get another fish stew? I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. Damn. You hate to see her leave, but love to watch her walk away. Oh, right. whoa. Good luck with the lunchtime rush, Shen, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll try my best. Why is she so thick, dog? Ooh. 
I asked, oh what's God, the plot of do da 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 Someone said, you think there's plot? Is the food to your taste, Cloud Retainer? One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights in a multitude of flavors. The dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left one more than satisfied. In fact, one has been struck by quite a fit of inspiration. One has already begun to conceptualize the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. I actually, like, damn. I, I want to know what would happen if we could bring Zhen Yun into the real world. I want to see her be the head of a fucking corporation. But, like, but she's very moral, right? So we, 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 we'd have, like, super devices and, like, a, an actual, like, corporation that gives a shit about fucking taking care of people. I need this. I need this in the real world right now, bro. Everything's so tasty. What's the plot of Durarara? A scientist and a Dulahan of a slow burn love story while a group of teenagers and a literal sex freak go through societal racism <laughs> and lonely. Mwah. Yahoo, how you doing, cutie? I'm glad to see you. Hope you're well. Uh, midnight, I'm sure she'd pass out from a Snickers bar. What? I don't I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are yeah. full. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? But it smells so delightful. Can we really not eat I'm about here? to finish my new playthrough of... Four legs can't go on for much longer. I assume that's Toho. I assume that's like the Toho Pokemon game. Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see huh? if anyone's happy to share a table. Because I, I vaguely remember watching G7 play something similar to that. Toho Puppet Dance Performance Shardy. Ah, there we go. Okay. I knew it was a Toho thing. Excuse me. <laughs> Would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so. Ah, well, I might guess it mind. What about Another you? Another memes of modern food killing people from like a thousand years ago. Same logic. Modern food killing people. Wait, what? Was it Durarara had the guy that with the mental limiters and he threw a fridge as an eight-year-old? I think so, yeah. As long as you don't mind our chatter. Great. Thanks so much. My name is Shiyu, and this is my granny, Yuandai. Granny? <laughs> Yuandai. <laughs> she sounds, she, her name sounds like, you, you, you know, that you're going to die. You want die? You want You want die? <laughs> you, you <wanna> die? <laughs> I give you a die. She looks so young. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually much older than she appears. She's got a young, uh, she, she's got a, she's got a regular adult woman, uh, uh, NPC model, but she's got like the old woman wrinkles, and she's oh. staring at Cloud Retainer like crazy for some reason. It's because most of the old people use the granny and grandpa models. She's not using a granny or a grandpa model. I think that's what I think that's what they're saying. Granny, why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Huh? Have we met before? No. She reminds me of my own grandma. Just a faded meeting, then. Please take a seat. What would you like to eat, Granny? It's like how they use the kid models for yokai, kind of. I want braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. I'm sorry, what? Earthworms? No, no, not this again. Mm, my favorite Granny, dessert. No worms. Worms. <laughs> braised earthworms. This brings me back to when I was a young whippersnapper eating the dirt. The worms were my favorite part. <laughs> that, that sounds like it's, it's like some it's like that grandpa from The Simpsons. Right, that's what Simon was thinking too. It really does, yeah. He, he genuinely sounded like The Simpsons' grandpa there. Hey, need any help? Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? <laughs> no, don't worry. She just got dementia. She fucking lost it. <laughs> that's nice of you to offer. Granny has a bad dementia, so her memory's getting worse all the time. She's always saying things that sound kind of... I can't joke, chat. I, I literally can't joke. 
I'm not. I'm not allowed to even make a joke. I. You're what? Why? You're banned from joking. I. 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 I am cursed. I'm banned from fucking joking, bro. I'm. Oh my god. I'm just trying to fuck around and make jokes and have. Uh, give me a second. I need to get a snack. I'm. I'm upset. I'm gonna go get some cheese. I'm gonna be right back. I'm fucking bro. the grandma was just fucking around and raised the earthworms was like the fucking like street name for some sort of noodle dish and i made a joke about dementia i didn't think i didn't think she actually had dementia bro i, I was fucking joking man come the fuck on bro <laughs> what is that about apology video cross uh, actually her memory's been bad ever since i was little but it's gotten so bad lately that i even have to remind her who i am every morning so what about your parents? They died young. It's just me and Granny now. Oh, that's that's rough. Oh, um. Where's the apology video with the ukulele cross? Uh, I don't have a ukulele. But um, what happened to my kazoo? Lately. Oh hell yeah, the kazoo's coming back. Do I even have it anymore? Oh, here it is. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Using your kazoo after character. all this time? Sure, it's hard at times, but yes. you just gotta make the best of the life. I missed it. <laughs> wow, you're really tough for your age, kid. <laughs> you're too kind. Also, where do you get all your money from? Does the government go government give you stipends? Hopefully, maybe. And me? Well, what about me? <laughs> what about you, Granny? <laughs> you're tough too, Granny. Plus, you're really gentle. You're always there for me. Think we get all the old redeems again? Good God. <laughs> yes. And it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Uh, wait, what was that really important thing again? Oh, that's right. You're adopted. Ah, I remember now. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her, and that once I'd found her, I would be free. Also, she was inside some bright light. Grandma, stop going toward the light, Grandma. Huh? Well, that sounds super important. But how come you've never told me Grandma's never the same after she ran from the stroke from monster. <laughs> My name is Dementia Granny, and I have a dream. I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, I believe I've had this dream a great many times. But just how many times have I had it? Now that I do not remember. Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. Oh, does that mean 
you're possessed. Paimon, bro. Unlikely. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and level. One sees no signs of possession. <laughs> I love how Clara Kane is like dead ass, like, oh no, I know what possession looks like. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> she probably does. <laughs> uh, she definitely does, but. Who do you take me for? Is one not an adept? <laughs> Am I not an expert? <laughs> yes, I do point that, Paimon. <laughs> the name was God. <laughs> anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now. My younger self. My persona. My true self. Puts gun to forehead. Speaking of. <laughs> oh, no. God. <laughs> a younger version of Granny. This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is going on here? Why do you care, Paimon? Just random dementia stranger, all right? As one said, her friends are must have brought us together. You may leave this situation to me. Are you sure? Um, so, what are your names? Paimon, Paimon. I'm the traveler, Cross. Just Shenyu is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you back? <laughs> we were going to guilt trip the restaurant owner into a, into a dining dash. We don't have money, actually. <laughs> well, we don't need any payment for this. Yeah, just curious about the situation. Want to help if you can. <laughs> I'm always proud of my Joseph oh, Cross. It's the hideout. So <laughs> First, we're gonna replace our brain. All we have to go off is that dream. Where do we start? Put it in a jar and put in a new one. That is elementary. Since her dreams portray her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. How high can your voice get? I've got pretty decent range. Ah. Yeah, that's pretty decent range. I can go rather high. Mostly oh, it's falsetto. But, you know, when, when, when it goes this high, sometimes it sounds vaguely like Mickey Mouse, and I don't know why. I was about to say, shut up, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> My range goes down. Oh, I can go I, I can go down, too. I can go downtown, down to cloud, and then boy. <laughs> I know, and just boy, yes. Hmm, sounds like a plan. So, Granny, do you remember which places we went to when you were young? Why, I, I sang bass I back do. in chamber choir way back in high school. The heavens above, hmm. the earth below. I'm, I'm not practiced anymore, so clouds. my range has probably gone down the from what it used to be, but I can still go pretty decently low. Once, when I was really little, my dad told me the granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved loads of people from a disaster. She took a lot of beatings to the head by her villains. That's why she says she's demented. <laughs> if it's true, then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. A martial arts heroine? Hmm. Oh, Chincho knows tons about Liwei's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Let's go find him at the Beiyun Commerce Guild. Are you leaving already? But I'm still hungry. Ten times weapon damage, one HP, no res? Damn. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want, I'll just get a few different things. My friend says I'm a tenor. No idea what the fuck that means. Though I don't know shit about singing. Tenor is normal. Bass is low. Um, baritone is higher for men. It seems we must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, while Yuan Dai and Shuyu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. 
As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Streetward Rambler. Streetward Rambler? Bro, ignore Soprano. Oh, you mean Madam Ping? Uh. Yeah. That's a TV <laughs> show. First of all, that's a TV show. And second of all, an alto and soprano are usually women's positions. Men can sing soprano before their balls drop. That That's it. It's one of the reasons why uh, old church choirs used to um, create Enochs. Because, uh, yeah, yeah because if there is no sexual organ creating testosterone... Um, they can maintain their young, youthful, boyish voice and therefore sing soprano because women used to not be allowed to sing in church. Precisely. It's eunuch. Let us meet eunuch, eunuch, eunuch. Once you are ready. It means, it, it, we know what we're talking about, right? We know what we're referencing. It's no big That's deal. It's very unpleasant. <laughs> Unfortunate, truly. All right. <laughs> Shit that I didn't need to know for 500 Alex. <laughs> <laughs> the female Enoch and how, how the fuck does that work? Yeah, how does that work? It's you two. What brings you here? That is if, a good if, question. If, if the male gonads have to be removed, then the female gonads have to be removed. And that's all the way, like, up in the body next to the uterus. Like, Ugh. actually, I, I don't want to imagine what they have to do. Uh, that just makes me feel pain. I don't even know what it would do, but it just sounds painful. Yeah. That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I don't know if I can say for sure. Hollow? Oh no! Uh. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone. But considering her age, I am reminded Cactus. of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various Good, that's shows. That's a less pleasant <laughs> image. Nameless heroine? That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. As the people suffered, a nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit camps. The people idolized her, but never learned her name. Hmm. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhung. Hmm. They were well matched in more ways than An one, exorcist. often fighting together as a fearsome ah. duo of otherworldly strength. After the drought ended, the heroine and the exorcist left the public eye and began living a reclusive life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. So like you and your gay chongers, yeah. <laughs> like the your gay boy chongers. The heroine faded Woot. from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot, Kinko. We knew it'd be worth talking to you. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. Hmm. Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Interesting, interesting. Oh, wait, Kinko, if you read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. Wangshu Inn, the area just north of Jue Yun Karst and Ching Yun Peak. Oh. Perhaps okay. the real life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. Okay. Well then you are a huge help because we literally have no other leads. <laughs> You're welcome. To be honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. If Miss Yuendai was indeed the original inspiration for the character, she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. I I, I bet you it's gonna turn out that uh, Miss Yuendai uh, met Cloud Retainer and borrowed her strength to help uh, 
to help save those people way back when, when she was younger. Mm. There's, there's no reason why this should be happening during Inside Cloud Retainer's story if Cloud Retainer isn't involved somehow. But, um, Gabagool, <laughs> right? So, I completely forgot it's that you're doing the Cloud Retainer thing because it seems like you want to do it before the event, and I thought this was part of the event story. <laughs> no, right? The, the thing is, I wanted to do the event... God. Um, and then save the Cloud Retainer one for later. But it seemed like the event expected you to have done the Cloud Retainer thing first. And I'm just like, okay, fine. Right? Might as well. Uh, opinion on the Mr. X skin? The, on the what? You can use in Monster Hunter World for your handler. I have no idea what you're referring to. You can like make the handler in Monster Hunter World Mr. X. Why? Because they had a Resident Evil collab back in the day. Oh. Um, I mean, and it was specifically the Resident Evil 2 remake collab. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, you know what? We're going to give the player character Leon and Claire like layered armor. Okay. And then we're going to give the handler Mr. X. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty great. I don't know how I feel about that, I'm going to be honest. Um, some people, people are allowed to be into whatever they're into, you know? Uh, Wait, what do you mean by into with that? <laughs> Look, if it, the, the handler is supposed to be like your emotional support slash assistant in, in Monster Hunter World. So for them to get replaced by Mr. X... That just means some people are really emotionally invested into Mr. X. And, you know, um, people are allowed to be into what they're into. All right? I'm not going to kink shame. Unless it's you? poop. I will kink shame if it's poop. Okay, yes, that. Yes. Such lengths to erase themselves from or what? Memory. Or feet. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. I don't get feet, but I'm, I don't There's kink shame feet. I, I do kink shame poop. What's been written. You know? I think King Shane poop is fair. But wh where did you? Where's the mental gymnastics go that you went? That that's what you went with the, the Mr. X skin. That's what people wanted Mr. X for. Why else would you want Mr. X to be your supporter? Because you like the boss monster from Resident Evil Two. Well, yeah, but the boss monster is like your uh, your your antithesis. If you were hunting a Mr. X as like a monster, I would understand that. But there's no reason that your fucking supporter should become Mr. X unless, you know. Look, like I said, I'm not kink shaming, all right? <sighs> My God. <laughs> I, I'm not kink shaming. Why, why, why try to kink shame, Kozak? Huh? I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> That's a deal. Perhaps behind the truth of it all. There lies a story more fantastic. I'm just gonna than put this into fiction. random gaming things. Watch it on stream, please. Okay, thanks. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried. The thumbnail. Oh my god, the thumbnail. <laughs> first off, first off, this is what the thumbnail looks like. What the fuck, this thumbnail, bro? What the shit is that? Second off, um. The heck? Oh my god. Oh, this is awful. That is, that is sure something I'm looking at. This is awful. Yeah, it's Mr. X, but it's got your waifu's voice. Um, look, like I said, I'm not kink shaming. Wait, wait, wait! Your waifu? Hold, hold up, hold up. Do you think the handler's a waifu? I assume she was a waifu for some people. Wait, why does the story? I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she was. I'm pretty sure she was designed for the intent of being your waifu, but failed. No. No. Are droughts super common in Liyue or something? Well, they used to be. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. 
Mm -hmm. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. They even made mods to make her even more chubby. Yeah, she was definitely waifu for some people, clearly. The crops withered, the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, and people who lost their homes came together to form bandit groups. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. Originally, it was supposed to be fat shaming, but I like your view on this. Fat shaming? That sounds awful. I I'm sorry. My, 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 my instinct is not to immediately push somebody down. All right? Someone made a mod yeah. to actually just fat. And that's wow, exactly that's why pathetic at a whole nother level. Yeah, for good. real. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. <clears throat> yeah, they mentioned a story about how she brought rain back and prevented droughts, and now we're having, like, the nameless heroine, and yeah, no. Th 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 this is definitely related. This is Genshin. Everything is cyclical. Still, as terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. I only push people down if they ask nicely or standing precariously next to a set of stairs! They say that Damn. back in those days, disasters were both more severe and more common. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Do you have any other questions? I don't know what that's a reference to, Lonely. <laughs> I, I have never played Amori. I've heard good things about it. Same here. Anyway, we'll be off now. See you some other time, Shinto. Thank you so much for your help. It's no problem at all. Safe travels. Meet up with the others where Madam Ping is. Got it. Madam Grand Ping. <laughs> Grand Ping. If you are presently unoccupied, perhaps we could skyward scatter. Neither of you ever played Amori? I haven't played Amori. That's all I know. Yeah, I haven't. I recorded the tune that you requested. I hope it will be of help to you. I love that they use pieces of jade like they're fucking vinyls, bro. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Straight word for... I mean, considering how much, uh, what is how how much jade they seem to have access to. <laughs> oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has wrought such change in this world, and yet you appear just the same as ever. Yeah, even Madame Ping changed her form. After a Honkai, you can use the jade for anything? True. Time has little bearing on one's existence, nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Nevertheless, Ping, one would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Oh. oh, why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. What is it? Well, the inquiry is as such. Uh, approximately how much more would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor? Not unlike the one that you yourself lead. Hmm. It does not require as much as you may think. Still, do you mean that... Yes, move into Leeway Harbor. It's time for us to make a love nest together. <laughs> My god, Cross. Uh, what are you two talking about? 
<clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> Have you unearthed any useful details? Shinjo has a theory, but let's save it for when Chuyu and Miss Yundai have joined up with us again. Hmm. Do not be troubled, young lady. Here, have some tea. Uh, thank you so much. I will say that they have definitely uh, dressed up the teapots a lot. Like, these, like, paintings and accents didn't exist on these, you know, teapots and, and pots and shit before. What do you think, oh, they look kind of more just generic looking before? You know yeah, it was, was just, it was, they were all just plain before. Hmm. Mm. According to the story, the nameless heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcist from Mount Tianhai. Maybe that's my grandpa. I don't have many memories of him. But there is this one time I found a box in her attic. Full cool story. Next, next special. time, dress up your fucking death guy. Damn. Why, 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 why you gotta yell at Granny like this, huh? Well, she's comfortable in her Crocs. How dare you? <laughs> my God. <laughs> I say that, but I genuinely hate Crocs. They're comfy, sure, but they look so ugly. I don't know how the fuck people keep like using Crocs. They're so gross looking. Look, you can wear comfortable things that don't look like, you know, it fell out of a fucking dinosaur's asshole, man. I met not also, Granny, I... I met Moon Carver, also true. What marvelous tea. I can taste the I never really felt Chul's ever look good, to be honest. I'm just not really a shoe person, I think, though. That's the thing. Uh, that's fair. I'm, I'm not really either. I just think Crocs look really dumb. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains, thoroughly one with nature, and at peace. Mm. If that's so, then please drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation <coughs> among friends. Thank you. So let's rest here for a little okay. while. Okay, since we have the time, can I ask you something? Sure thing. What would you like to know? Would you like to join the Axis cult? Um, I have a secret I want to tell you. Let's go talk over there. Just saying here the dotted line. ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant but are you guys all adepti in disguise oh she's cute <laughs> uh, about that. well you're right in w one out of three one out of three is not bad mm, well you guys just seem super special but i think i might have heard miss shen yun call herself an adeptus <laughs> <laughs> must have been a slip of the tongue miss shen yun since you were the one who uh, misspoke, maybe you can explain to Shu you here what How you really meant by that. How is she just saying this entire time? I have to ask because right? I know she keeps <laughs> talking. And, you know. One is indeed an adeptus. Is that of some concern to you? Huh? I knew it. Well, you don't sound surprised yeah. at all. One time when I was a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crane. Ah, that's her. I had this super high fever, and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross, but then this snowy white crane flew down. Did I ever tell you the story about why my friend called me the Disney princess looking ass? Hey, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> her back and flew me to her cool adeptus house and fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed and my fever was gone. Oh. I wonder if okay, if if either. If either if I either Cloud Retainer helped or uh Shu Yu's grandma is actually a former adeptus that has like lost their adeptal hood. Because that happened with um that happened with Fujin the carp, right? Uh mm. so, you know, it would tie in both with like the new world quest alongside, you know, uh Zhen Yin's story. That'd be a nice touch with that, honestly. Right? I was too sleepy to stay awake, so like, I never got the chance. She's barely holding on to her human form, and she's, like, you know, physically falling apart as a result because she wants to take care of this girl. So 
So, I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe any of you have ever That's met a sad a story then if that's the case. It wouldn't surprise me if Genshin pulled something like that though. Uh, yeah, because they, 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 they don't they don't want sad endings for like their major story arcs, but they they're they're okay with sad endings and sad stories and like their side quests. Yeah, no kidding. Like that one kid in the I mountain. Was the, I was at the local beach and nature park. It was early in the morning, so there was no one there. I saw a deer. I was gonna take a pic. I tried to whistle to get its attention. Then a bird landed on my head. <laughs> Have you ever met one <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hmm. Never has one met an adeptus with such features. One surmise is such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. Might have been so. It might have also been so sick that she went <coughs> colorblind. That's weird. Was it really just a dream then? Well, even if it was just in my head, it doesn't matter that much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memories. Been really grateful for all your help. Leave it to us. Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one. Yeah. We want you in first. Okay, I'll go get Granny. Can she even walk all the way to Wangshu Inn? It's quite the distance. And then we want to take her up a mountain and some other shit? Like, damn. Wangshu Inn. Wangshu Inn. Do you remember this place, Granny? Yes. The fish here is very delicious, and if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. I used to have a room here. It had a window. Yes, yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. Which room was it again? Let me look. I remember Wang Shu in all of Ningguang's psyops are trained here. <laughs> Paimon's still having some trouble understanding what she's talking about, but if she's so familiar with this place, that must mean she lived here, right? Wait. Also, you didn't make your sound effect noise when you appeared. I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. Non-human? If you're here... He muted, he muted his teleport noise. noises. I suppose there's... He no muted himself on Discord. <laughs> it's been a while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. So you met her in this form before. I have indeed. I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Ooh. Oh, wow! What was she like during the war? Oh, wait, let Paimon take a guess. Was it anything like this? Behold, the glory of one's newest invention, the Bang Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism! The Bang Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, her setting up a fucking series of, like, ballistic cannons is top tier. Evie, mwah, Yahoo, Evie. how you doing, cutie? Mm. Oh, packing's go well, you little cute fucker, you little bitch. Mm. You fucking rubber, you little rat. Mm. That I love you, bitch. Oh, and I'm never gonna stop loving you. Hubby. Mwah. This is Paimon's Navia cosplay. <laughs> right? <laughs> With the three cannons. Uh, is it me, or pa has Paimon gotten more unhinged since Fontaine? True, facts. Oh, Mudkip, you are too fast. You have, you have to give it a little, you have to give it a moment. You have to give it a moment if you want to An lock me scuff box, clearly. <laughs> Pino's Pino got a taste of gunpowder. I mean, this works for me. Oh, psychotic. <laughs> Even so, I literally waited. You, was not always as awesome on my end, I saw the redeems flash back to back. Unaware, but her talent ah. with Adepti Sigils is just as ah. formidable as her skill in mechanics. Give it like five, ten seconds, right? Uh, why is Bayonetta here? That's Cloud Retainer's human form. The Archon War. I counted to two. Yeah, well, that's your fault. <laughs> the Cloud Retainer. Glory to the tummy. The uh... Was taciturn and solemn. I just imagine Mudkip being like one, two. 
I can't tell past two. I just imagine. I just. I just imagine Mudkip, but like an actual Mudkip, brings up its little nubby hands. I don't have fingers. I can only count on my hands. I can't cast two. Count past two. It's just two nubs waving in front of a Mudkip's face. <laughs> Once one has been farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. After the war, Cloud Retainer Someone modded their, modeled their shotgun as Hoshino's, Only I see. Yeah, that's what I was telling you about last night. Uh, so when I saw it on my YouTube feed this morning, I was like, oh yeah, I should send this to Izzy so that you know, he, he understands what I meant before. But yeah, look how look how like surprisingly cool that, that, that gun is. Although I do believe there was an occasion. Pain to probably keep that clean, but yeah, it looks good as hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of. And one believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. Granny, are you okay? Uh, back then, at this place, I. Perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. Uh, why is it fully auto is my question. Um, uh, I don't really know enough about guns to answer that. I, I it, 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 it's, 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 it's a, it's a sports use model, right? It's for like competitions and shit. It has practical purpose. So you need it to be able to fire rapidly, I think. Should you encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. I think it's meant to be for like However, sports. Given use. that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. Claim to be an American. Everyone, I, I think Granny is finally <laughs> beginning to remember her past. Slowly now, calm your mind and recount what has been recalled. Ah yes, my husband was involved in something called a. <laughs> a long time ago. I'm, I'm gonna stop myself. I don't know if I want to know where that's going. <laughs> Ree, the th th three string streak is eating what? Thank you. So what Shinjo said was true. You did I'm sorry that. your stream streak got broken, King. I it's not your fault. I don't remember. I'm very sorry, but, but I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me and there was no cure for it mm. i was confined to my room in wangshu inn where i spent many days unconscious i'd come to karma from xiao oh no birds outside the window it was a solemn sight i remember crying but i'm not even sure i knew why one day i met a traveling merchant upon hearing of my illness he sold me a bottle of soul revitalizing tea pills. First of all, what the fuck is soul revitalizing tea pills? Second of all, what is that mustache? It looks like Zhao's wearing a fucking outfit and he just painted a mustache on himself with a fucking pe with with like a fucking one of those little swishy little 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 uh little little little, little uh like brushes that they used to like do calligraphy with. This is the most snake oil salesman looking ass motherfucker possible. Told me that yeah, I definitely trust this dude. <laughs> using adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. And sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. I see. So the dementia you're suffering from is actually the disease from your past. Wait, but if your illness remained dormant for several decades... So reviling, bro. That's a sex pill. Yeah. A relapse of what happened all those years ago? Grandma, are you saying you just need more Viagra? <laughs> oh my no! Bad cross, bad. That you managed to keep the symptoms in check? I'm sorry, I don't. Oh, if only I wasn't so. Izzy useless. says hi, Coley and Rubble. Hey, Izzy. You're not useless. Hello, Izzy. You've done so much for me. Watch me grow up. 
raised me. How could you say that about yourself? Oh, fret not, dear child. Granny was just a bit frustrated. That's all. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding anything at all. Let us make haste to the next location. Assuming it is, it is even the same woman. But, you know. Yeah. Considering that this location worked out. Location. Oh, why don't we go to the area north of Dwayun Kars next? There isn't really a landmark here, so we're after all, if he was there for Okay. North of Julian Kars. Uh there's three separate locations they want me to check. Check them all. Skyward! Got her! First, the village that Beto used to live in when she was a child. Yeah, I remember. If only Granny could fast travel. Uh oh. The 63k ground pound. DPS Jan Yun, bro. Like I've been here before, but I don't think I stayed here too long. I might have just rested here briefly before continuing on my way. Every second Farina's on the screen is another second I can smile. Truly, facts. Got it. That's okay. There are God plenty fucking of other damn it. We can check. Why did I teach you how to do this properly? This was my mistake. <laughs> Wait a second. If I remember correctly. I brought ah yes I brought some sweet snacks <laughs> oh you okay yeah. you need okay. to eat a lot if you want to grow big and strong oh, yeah. alright forgot about my back legs I can now count the I love that you took my joke about the fucking nub seriously. I'm like the comedian from Jujutsu Kaisen. My curse technique of if is, I think it's funny, I can make it happen. <laughs> I, I remember. Shuyu, this is where your father was born. Oh! It was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. Yes, and then we copulated here copiously. I had exhausted oh my, my God. strength when the labor pains came on. You really are so a cursed fox, Frost. In this house. <laughs> Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath. Her oath? But spare my innocent child. Sin? Oath? Did you do something wrong? She's an ocean in. No, I don't remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. She's an ocean in. Eventually, 
The house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. That baby was your father. My dad? He was my pride and joy. And so are you, Shu. But you're... always going to be different from me. I... I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You always... You're too sweet, Shu Yu. I'm lucky to have you with me. All right. Okay, I want to know what happened. I'm, stand like, I, 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 I get that you two love each other. There's That's great. But I want to find out what yes. happened. Oh, she's got a very pretty hairpin. I, I never noticed that. She's got a custom hairpin. One recalls correctly. The next place should be Chinyu Peak. You and I. Interesting. Interessante. I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. Climb on. I shall carry you to the top. Hmm. Such lightness of weight. All those who grow old grow frail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory. Isn't that Cloud Mommy's help. hairpin? Eventually, you no. end up losing everything. It is designed similarly, but definitely to not. Depart this world with a lucid mind to free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Fred not, you have my aid in this endeavor. Huh. We're finally here. Does this place feel familiar to you, Granny One Day? Let me see. How strange. Had I lived here before? Take your time. When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier. Though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. But here, I don't have that feeling. Uh, perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. Hmm. But did the stories get it wrong then? I mean, we can't expect, expect them to get everything, right? Yeah, that's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. All the character trials in Genshin have five piece noblesse. Uh, in, in the Zhao story, when you can't even use his burst. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. He, he has zero burst damage. It's all right. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Thank you. If only I could remember. Huh? That way. What's that mountain? Oh, let Paimon look! Huh? Isn't that Mount Altai? Looks like we've come full circle. I wonder if that snake oil salesman used, like, some discarded, like, you know... Feathers and other stuff from the uh, from uh, the cloud retainer's body to create a whack medicine, like an adeptal medicine. And the reason that she saw cloud retainer and and they both like were staring at each other and felt like a sense of familiarity is that she's got some of cloud retainer's adeptal energy inside of her somewhere. Mount Outsong. Mount Outsong. Granny. Are you okay? Like, her sin was that she took on someone else's adeptal powers for a while. Uh, uh, in, in her youth, maybe. Don't punch yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Mount Outsong, I... What am I, really? Mount Outsong holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I... I can't go back. Are you feeling unwell? My head, it feels all heavy and dizzy. I, just, what is wrong with me? Clan, Miss Hyunyun, is there anything you can do? Let us go to Mount Outsong. But... Fret not, all will be well. You and I, you have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. You may leave the rest to me. 
I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring your lost memories. It currently resides at Mount Altsong. Oh? Wait, really? When did you do that? <laughs> I never leave anything to chance. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh, they prepared us a fucking glider route. Nice. Can't complain about that. Precisely. A recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. It periodically releases a soft breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax and even enter hey, a rubber what a key. <laughs> Ayo, hey, Zhang Yun made a hypnosis device? Ayo? Hey, <laughs> All right, artists, we've got a Daljin prompt. Let's go. <laughs> Soothing agitation <Bang>. and anxiety, <laughs> relieving exhaustion and insomnia. Its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. Base devs are setting up for Daljins. All right, that's just how it is, okay? <laughs> Bitch literally just made the cure to anxiety. Facts. We could have come to Mount Altsong right off the bat and saved time on a lot of floating. How preposterous. Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, the device would have nothing to draw upon. Isn't the lead Genshin dev like 29? Is he? We adepti. I'm, can I'm, only I'm, help I'm those sure they're probably older. To help themselves. Not like old, old, but. but... Lack such determination and strength of character. Probably like, er, like early to mid 30s. To offer in way of assistance. Simon thinks she gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, a gentle adeptal tune is required to take full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. Mm-hmm. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean. Paimon's body feels light as a feather. It's as if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. And you, you and I, is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> it appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. The drought is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? Potion. It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even for a second. <laughs> you can see that they didn't change the hair on the model. And they just added a beard and mustache to it. So even though the beard and mustache are gray, you can see the glimpse of the black hair on the back of this motherfucker's head. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh, now, now it's fixed. They heard you and adjusted it in real time. Yeah, they adjusted it in real time. Have you forgotten? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew. Perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. The you of the past. The me from not that long ago. 
We should have never. So what the fuck is happening? Uh, uh, so that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I... So what exactly is this? A cloud retainer. Hmm. Your memories have returned. Wait, did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean you already knew each other? Yes. I now remember everything. Everything. Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. I'm so sorry, everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. Hmm, okay. <sighs> she invented mention, give One that to her. Sense the guilt. That now pricks your conscience. So maybe she was some sort of crane that fell in love with a human and was given a potion to allow her to turn into a human? Emotions. Or some sort of lesser adeptus Perhaps that was went through the same process? On your I don't know. You compose yourself. It's clear that Cloud Retainer knows, though. No, it's okay. And she's not going to bother to tell I've you. Remembered, I must face my memories head on. Sure, you, everyone. I can Please, Granny, don't force yourself. I know, dear child. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. Is this the sin that you mentioned in Joyun Karst? What happened? I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. Mm. I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. Ah, so she was like a lesser adeptus. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. I even contemplated completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings, and time gradually passed us by until that fateful day 50 years ago. 50 years ago? During the drought that struck Leela. That's right. Master Girl was literally a bird. Does she have a cloaca? I don't know what a cloaca is. From them, I don't I know what that term she means. Had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. Oh, she just looked up to her but former I was teacher. still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit into uh. the world. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. <laughs> <laughs> so the granddaughter is part bird. She Got it. She warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end what of is that a cloaca? time, I would forever forget my past as a I wouldn't worry about it, Cross. And become something <laughs> neither human, beast, nor Google it. Uh. Common cavity at the, the, the opening for the digestive, reproductive, and urinary tracts of many vertebrate animals. Cloaca exists in all human embryos up to four to six weeks, and then it 
develops separately into the urogenital sinus and the rectum. Oh, so birds, cloaca is both the, uh, both where they piss and shit out of at the same time. Got it. I guess. Hmm? Oh, no. So that was the source of your dementia all along. Yeah, but for some reason you never turned back into a crane. Was it because of Grandpa? Oh, no. Cross? Yes, what? Indeed. I fell in love. Though he was You made me remember the coffee pasta? What coffee pasta? In Mount Tianhang. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his The as Warhammer well. Vermintide 2 coffee pasta? There's a copy pasta for Vermintide 2? Doesn't surprise me, but I didn't know that there was. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, just like me, he cared deeply about the world and wanted more than anything to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. The ASMR cro uh, copy pasta crossed it ages ago? Damn. I don't remember this. I know I've done like a lot of weird vid vids, but when I when I was when I had the uh, energy and the, uh, the 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 passion to like make memes, but yet I did not want to leave his side. So <gasps> I and butter, bro. Mwah. Yahoo, what's up, cutie? Oh no! What that first that? ara ara hit different. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, it's coming. Ah! Well, it is I what it is. An offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it, it meant was nice while it lasted. And suffering, even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. Damn. Her husband was into birds, I see. I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes, but I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter. Instead. What's the bird form of furry? Someone to leave it outside <laughs> her abode. I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the a world. A feathery? Maybe. Such that no one would be able to find me again. Updating Hawkeye Star Rail during maintenance so tomorrow I can play a bit for uni? Hell yeah. That's why the nameless heroine hid herself that away. That was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became hazy and confused, and I could no longer keep myself awake. Ah, I that's why she wanted earthworms. She's a bird. Ha <laughs> funny. I was fated to lead. Along with my memories that's pretty offensive to pain, birds, Cross. I soon forgot the Damn. true cause Cry of about my it. suffering as well. <laughs> I knew only that I'm not I the one stuck in the plushy form, am I? No, no bird rights. Hashtag no bird rights. Even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that trap. <laughs> there at the same time, if it weren't for those soul revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have. <sighs> Wait, was that Cloud Retainer? Is she the one that gave the pills? Coincidence? Why did I This is a boost. It couldn't be. Master, don't tell me. Back then, the merchant was actually... <laughs> Crane Mommy painted the most fucking snake oil salesman fucking mustache on her face, bro. <sighs> That's actually really funny. Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. <sighs> so when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in No, this is button mashing. The only person I managed uh -oh, to wait, see wait, hold up. Butterbro, stop. No. Myself. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> One still remembers when. <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even on target because it's not accurate what I had to stop for. Ask one to pick 
take you out. It's literally not even One always recognizes one's own, no matter what form they may take. Wait, wait, wait. My mind's confused. So, Closet Painter, you found you and I again? But how? When? And what happened after that? <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Ooh, cutscene. No? One was furious upon receiving your letter. Seized with anger, one set out to bring you to your senses. Yo, she's like extra glowy in the memories. Look how much brighter the color of her wings are right now. Wait. Oh, she's C3. One using Skyladder from Clouds of Dawn. Attack increases. Passive talent, uh, blah, 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 blah. Plunging, uh, plunging attack, shockwave damage increased by 400% of our attack. Ooh. Maximum damage increase can only be up to 18k, though. But, you know, it's a nice little, it's a nice little buff. Nice little boof. Dude, she's so much more sparkly. Is it her C2? truth one had more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner as an exorcist his talent was lacking damn one could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better shit you got you, damn she's just trash talking her fucking husband right now bro but fuck soon one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness he never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side oh, okay okay Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies, glaring though they may have been. <laughs> She's literally the mother-in-law that says, "Like, oh, your husband, he lacks talent, intelligence, skill, he, he, you know, money, all these things." But then get son and be like, "Well, he's loyal though, so I'll give him that." <laughs> Wishing to grant you a life without regret. One gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. Though imperfect, it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. Mm. As for how to deliver the medicine, after much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed. Bro has the skills of my pet dog and I found it endearing! One took great care to alter one's features. And select the appropriate attire. <laughs> look, look at the Only fake mustache and goatee on her right now, bro. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. As one expected, you were most ignorant of one's true identity. <laughs> you showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> one was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise? Or mourn the loss of your acquaintance. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Nevertheless, one would speak to you about another matter, if you are amenable. Even considering your loss of memory, one was simply There's a song about a pencil thin mustache? What? easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with adeptal blood. Its proclivity to attract monsters is hardly that complicated of a concept to remember. To think that you tried to travel while weak from sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, all of you would have been lost during the night. Oh! So she, she, sa she saved them, I see. Oh, 
Yeah, DPS Zhenyun is just way more fun than actual healer Zhenyun to me. I s Jimmy Buffett? Those monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. Oh, look at the, sh the barriers all cracked up. Said godly remains, in turn, were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. One was, after all, an active participant in the Archon War. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. Eighteen months. Tonight. It's a second sub baby the baby. Break of dawn, one heard an infant's cry pierce through the air. And one saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me. Could not help but be moved by your joy. Oh. To see you happy. That was more than enough. Not a hold Now you should have a complete understanding of the events. Wait. But that's true, then. The crane who took care of me when I was sick. Must also be ah yes. One had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale. I like this dreamscape, kind of like melding different parts of like leeway and like the city and shit together. That's pretty neat. I ain't even I ain't even gonna lie. Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. Upon finding you burning with fever. One made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. When one <laughs> asked you why, <laughs> apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true adeptus. Because, because all illuminated, illuminated cranes are white, white from, from tip to, to toe. toe. One had no choice but to apply powder to one's body <laughs> to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. Bro. You became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other color. This is the giant fucking like facial powder like powder like smearing thing. <laughs> Can we? That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is sure a bit of art there. <laughs> I, I just imagine the artist for this moment, or like, because this is like the 3D model, right? It looks like 2D yeah. because it's flattened, but it's clear that it's made using the 3D model art, but just a higher rendition version, right? Um, yeah. I just imagine the modeler was like, you want me to what with the, what, what with the wing? Yeah. So I, I need like one of those like powders that women, like like, like people who use makeup, you know, men and women alike, that you use, use on the faces, the ones where you like dab it in and like, kind of smooth it out. Yeah, I, I I know what you're talking about. The, the little circle things, the little 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 bands, like holy, yeah, 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 that that that. I need a bird, powdering its like underarm, with that thing, and then I need you to make the area around it more white than normal. What? Why? Trust me, <laughs> it's important for the plot. You'll understand when we get there. <laughs> to be a fly on the wall, that had to be said, that right? As a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you have never encountered her in that form, you still recognize the essence of her being.
and Juno. Mwah. Yeah, I, I stepped out to use the restroom real fast. Mwah. How you doing? Hey, Juno. Cutie? Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. It's clear that DPS Janya needs Kagura Verity. After having played with her now, actual signature weapon. Yeah. Go piss, Goral. <laughs> One owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Nin Restaurant. Oh. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Indeed. One wish to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one <sighs> simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Ah. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who live through them. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. <sighs> Have you any further inquiries? Master, I... I must ask. If you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? One has never regarded your action as a mistake. It was a simple choice, nothing more. Yeah. When it is time for one's progeny to leave the nest, it is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. Oh. Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish. Yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. <laughs> Thank you. I, just, I, I guess that's why, despite her, you know, old you so human much. looking age, she's retained a lot of, like, other youthfulness with, like, her body structure and everything else, huh? You and I. Because she's technically a pseudo immortal crane. One expects you to have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Have you not? But maybe staying human has, like, accelerated it faster and she's near the end of her lifespan? 40 years ago. You chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, merely delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. <sighs> Even the power of an adeptus has its limits. They need to make a term for people that can be Had killed, but not by age. To yeah, because immortal in your life as a human entirely, um, in implies end, that you can't be killed. A creature, but a lot of immortal creatures can be killed. They just are ageless. Ageless. There we go. Ageless. You know, ageless entities. They live forever unless you kill them. Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Oh. Though one sped the process Wait, reclaiming her memories guidance, fixed her body's issues? What? A reflection of your own essence. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, sure, whatever. What's gonna happen to Granny? Okay, Genshin Riders. Yeah. One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. If it be fated... She may recover her sentience one day. Oh. She's gonna save her by turning her body back to what it used to be, but she'll also lose her sentience for a while. Got it. She's gotta go back to being a regular crane, huh? What about her granddaughter? Is there no other fucking way? Master, you've already done more than enough for Does me. anyone here find Zhao fun, or does he get too repetitive? Just asking before fully for Jian Yun. I personally do find uh, Zhao is fun. He, he, he goes dashy dashy and then he enters the old state where he goes bouncy 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 on my dick. Um, 
<laughs> Sorry, there's something wrong with my brain. Uh, jokes aside, I, I, I do actually find Zhao fun. Uh, and uh, Zhen Yun kind of lets anyone turn into Zhao. So that's fun. Um, but also, she herself is very fun, right? Zhao is about as tall as a dick. True. I don't know how I could possibly. <laughs> that's a lie to come back on. Teeny tiny. This is a better result than Cross, I Cross, what are you doing? Why does the for? chat talk about that? <laughs> what the a uh, one ton asked if anybody else found Zhao fun or if he gets repetitive. Like, don't get me wrong, he's very fun, but he needs his ult to be fun, which means that I can never use him in the overworld because he kills everything too quickly. I can only really use him in Abyss, which is kind of sad. Um, what did I hear when I came back? Don't worry, Crystal. Uh, farming for Zhao isn't fun, uh, cause ain't him, ain't no one but him use that domain. Oh, you mean the Vermilion set? Yeah, I mean, okay, Zhao's unique in the way his um, the way he manipulates his multipliers though. You could have full rainbow piece for Zhao, and he'll work. As long as you have the substats. As long as you have, like, 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 as long as you have, like, the substats, he'll work. He's got, he's, he's got an amazing setup for, like, his, his multipliers. His, getting a two-piece and a four-piece is nice, but they're not necessary for Zhao. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I found farming for Zhao forever ago very fun, but to be honest, maybe that's because I, I was salty that I didn't get out his OG banner and got was also motivated. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Hmm. Also, Not Crystal, that's just a cross curse. When you come back to a stream, he's probably saying something really weird. <laughs> the, my exact words were, oh yeah, Zhao's fun. He goes dashy, dashy, and then he ults and he goes bouncy, bouncy on my dick. <laughs> I saved my guarantee for Can a year just for you. <laughs> I would love to right now. <laughs> Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. Why did I accept my to be a mod for you, Cross? <laughs> you behind. Zhao, Zhao's great. Zhao's fun. Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. When I'm gone. When I'm gone. I'll you're gonna you miss her when I'm gone. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? You and I, I'm just saying, you might not even re you, you recover your own sentience within her lifetime. Like, as, 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 as well intended as this is, this is a very empty promise. good girl even though we won't see each other for a little while as long Eat as we worms in my hard, memory we're sure to meet again someday uh, i'll eat well granny i promise and i'll wait for you no matter how long it takes i'll wait for you to come back that's a good girl then granny really has no more regrets I'm so sorry, Master. Thank you. For everything. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I can't kill cranes anymore, just to be safe. Oh, that's a dark thought. <laughs> cranes were usually, like, you know, one of the birds that are easier to kill when I need foul because they drop, like, two to three at a time. And they're also a lot bigger and easier to hit. Uh, so, uh, I'm a hunter like Timmy's bird later? No! I need to remember, I, 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 I can no longer legally hunt cranes. Got it. Heal you. Let her be. 
At her age, crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. When you get hypnotized so hard, you turn into a fucking bird. <laughs> Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. Ooh. Fully pre-rendered cutscene. of separation would finally end and all my troubles would be behind me Se seeing them two like this though is, is, is actually sweet yeah they paid Zach Aguilar how much for those groans <laughs> bum, 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 sweet <laughs> okay look this this is weird because this is not like sibling behavior. This is like this girlfriend and boyfriend looking at behavior, though. Like genuinely. <laughs> A nightmare. Curious. If you relaxed, shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? It was a good dream. It's just... You weren't ready to wake up. I just realized he's Geo-Traveler in this cutscene. I mean, it is a leeway story. Yeah, I guess, but like... <sighs> the most recent Traveler is still Hydro, so... Seems I know, but... As one may be. I guess. Yeah. Words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is always here for you. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. Yes, take care of me, mommy. I don't like that Paimon's chewing and sucking on her finger in her dreams. There's already so many weird allegations about Paimon being like literally just a child that follows you around. A child of whatever she is. <laughs> Some got a fairy thing. Grilled crane drumsticks. Oh no. Madam Adeptus? Oh, sure you 
You're awake. How do you feel? I I feel a little better. Thanks. Madam Adeptus, could I uh ask you something? Would you take me in as a disciple? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. And have you reasons for this sudden interest? Horrible, you woke me in my recovery time, bitch. <laughs> I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it. But without that mistake, I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So, I thought maybe one day... I could become a cool adeptus like you and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. Mm. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that you undies blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. No, uh, I mean, Master. You. Are you sure about this? Pylon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like Chin Chin and Violet Grass. If you it's... join them, you'll never enjoy One Min Restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. Paima, why is it always about food with you? <sighs> How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? Damn. Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate to Liyue Harbor. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Oh! Oh! We're leaving Mount Outsong? So that's why you took on the human form. One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Gan Yu, Shen He, Yuan Dai. They all chose a life among the mortal world. One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter, but perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Hmm. Why are you all so silent? Paimon is... Uh, just a bit shocked, that's all. So... This and welcome we back, Juno. And, and if you sometime? see little fucker, you little shit, you little bitch, you know, fucking my little rat, you know, that I love you, bitch, you little cute, little shit. One has precious little, little time to squander. But I never want to stop loving you. However, Hubby. if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one, one will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. Oh! The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Wait, Harbor. she's gonna sell a fucking adeptal me mechanisms? Oh, she's... She's either she's 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 gonna make so much fucking money. One has already picked out a handsome property near Chihu Rock. Tis no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? He 
like you really thought of everything. Then welcome back, Izzy. Welcome back, uh, Juno. We were <laughs> yeah, yeah. A sensible plan. See you then. Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense insomnia mechanism as a souvenir? Anytime you should feel ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. It might help you find a new perspective. Mm. Awesome! Thanks, Cloud Retainer! So we get a new furniture. Cool. I'll take that. Hey, didn't we promise Shinto that we'd tell By the way, uh, Cross, it them. Uh, armor core. Yeah. You know how they added those uh, shoulder mini guns? Yes. They also added uh, heavy machine guns for your primaries. Ooh. Nice. Well, I say that, but they also already had like mini guns and shit, so it's not like it, it's like anything too crazy. But yeah. No, like it's, it's it's like more like a fifty, like what would be a fifty cal for a normal person in kind of equivalent. Oh shit! It's not a mini gun. <laughs> Cause it's slow fire. It's slower firing for a machine gun, but it hits like a truck. <laughs> mm, okay, okay. I get what you mean now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who nice is he? Hell yeah, gamer. Uh, now I really want her C1, but I need to prioritize getting her weapon. I really do. Well. I want to use her as a DPS, but I can't just take away Yai's weapon. I use Yai too. We meet again, well. dear friends. Yeah. How did everything go? Nah, do it get C1. Shut up! Devil on my shoulders. Well. Silence. I'm, I'm just really hoping to just get so lucky and not have to like right go all. all the way to full fate. Even though she was a if, if I don't get it, if I don't get it in like the first heavy like maybe two go, uh, gold uh, you know weapon pulls, I might just have to like toss every like other thing that I can Thank get at it and just pray. Uh, she was able to imagine if you have that extra had charge. Lost. I'll get it on a rerun. Genuinely. Although I can't I'm I'm patient. Exactly how I'm willing to wait for the rerun. Here. But like it's it's different when it's gearing them up, one. right? Gearing them up Those is still important. Those united in a common purpose always find a way back to each other in the end. Thank you for helping me fill in the gaps. And don't worry, I'll keep this all Bitch, to myself. Bitch, no, you ain't. What do you mean? It's not my story I to save tell, for units after. all the time. It's how I haven't bankrupted myself. It's all, it's almost like I'm capable of being a fucking proper human being that takes, you know. Actually takes measure of my own fucking finances. Wow. What do you know? Who the fucking thunk it? It, it, it takes it takes a very bare minimum of like, yeah, I want this, but you know, uh measure something's cost effectiveness and, and be like, yeah, okay. Unless I wanna swipe hundreds of dollars, which I do not want to do. Um, well, you know, like, I, I, I can just wait. And I'll just wait. It's fine. I've waited for shit all the time. Peace prevails throughout the land, and all things are made here. Skyward! Got her! Like a normal fucking human being. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I don't, I don't find it an issue to spend for games that I care about. But, um, I, I, I definitely don't, like, spend needlessly on shit. Yeah. Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. This is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary. Like her, her the things that she's trying to sell are so rare that people are like, wait, how the fuck did you get this? <laughs> uh, to be quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. In what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back, not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. I have to be careful. Yes, you can never be too careful. We're here, Quill. Uh, Miss Shenyan, what are you guys arguing about? Ah, perfect timing. This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity of my wares. I'm always bad with secrets. Know. 
These items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. To question their legitimacy is pure folly. Several hundred years? It, indeed. <clears throat> They're family heirlooms, you see. Passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. Nice recovery. <laughs> Hear that? Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. Indeed, you should consider it an honor to even have the opportunity to behold them with your own eyes. Is that the Jingchu's Farida cosplay outfit available yet, by the way? Uh, possibly. I didn't do the, the, new, uh, the, the, the Chinese New Year event that much yet, because it seemed obvious that with the way the, um, uh, some of the early conversation in the event went, I was meant to do the character story quest first, and I hadn't done that, so I'm I, I'm I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Doubt their authenticity any further, and I may just decide to take them to another buyer. Whoa, 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 please, I, I know for a certain that Ning Guang would pay out the nose course. for these. <laughs> you see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. If you could wait but a moment, I've hired an expert to appraise them for me. An expert, you say? <sighs> Very well. I will wait for a little while longer then. Traveler, Paimon, this is my new residence. If you have cause to seek my company in the future, this is where you can find me. Ooh, we can now visit mommy at home anytime now. Let's go! <laughs> oh, it's you two again. Oh! Hello. Look at Shuyu's new dress! Oh, she's so cute! Shuyu. With the red ribbons and everything! Ah, that's so cute! Oh, she's adorable. Uh -huh. for me. I like it too. Huh? You know how to make clothes? <laughs> Do I know how to make clothes? With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly a challenge. Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so I just left them outside. Fred not. I shall help you move them into your room. Uh, actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. Everything's kind of messy right now, so maybe you could, um, not look yet, Master? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> this better, be an expert better be Bong Li. Yeah. I, I need to see Zong Li show up. <laughs> I need to see Zong Li show up. This expert you mentioned. Soon, soon. Here, allow me to make Yes! Let's go! <laughs> this is Mr. Zhang Li, a well-respected consultant at Wang Shang Funeral Parlor and an expert in all manner of valuables and antiques. Mr. Zhang Li, this is Mr. Shen Yun. fucking Shen Yun, like, went with so wide-eyed for a second. I mentioned earlier. Uh. Huh. Ah, if it isn't Miss Shen Yun. It has been quite some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous reunion. Um, in, indeed, most serendipitous. Uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhongli? Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains and a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. The experiences left me with such insight and peace. Were you the one that got me watching Life Thero? Probably. Huh. So you two are already acquainted? Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. She is well-versed in all fields, and oft-celebrated for her impeccable taste. You stand to gain much from this Lethal goonery is a masterpiece? <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. My wife and husband flirting with each other in front of me. Without wife, me? <laughs> me Shen, without me, though? It would seem that you are as uh -huh. self-effacing as ever. <laughs> Not at all, Mr. Shangli. Not at all. Um, while I am... Loathe to butt into this conversation. I must ask, you two already knew each other, and you seem to have quite a cordial relationship. Can I be certain that you're not working together to swindle me? 
I mean, you never know. <laughs> I mean, his concerns are not unfounded, right? It's 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 a legitimate concern to have in this situation. Huh. A preposterous accusation. The heavens themselves would collapse before we would conspire to do such a thing. Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. If that proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, this transaction may be taken elsewhere. Say no more. Let us depart. I, I jest, I jest. What fool would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhongli himself has vouched for the goods? Miss Shenyun, Miss Shenyun, wait. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> I deeply apologize for doubting you. So, um, Mr. Zhongli, could you please give me a final verdict on the value of these items? There is no cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. The same can be said for this one here. You could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. You should also tell him what the mechanisms kind of do, though. All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, I shall, of course, trust By the way, do you have work today, Cross? Yeah. Then Unfortunately, yes, Miss Shenyun, I'll Damn. take the lot. However, since the final sum is quite large, how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? The Northland Bank? Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. Fiduciary? Oh, Goddamn. One of these archaic ass words. Like, I get it, but like, you didn't have to. I fear people only <laughs> use the term bank nowadays. It My guy just took out a mortgage for that? Yeah, for real. Turn to collect the goods once you've received the funds. <sighs> Wait, what? She sighed out and the subtitles say snore snore. What happened, localization team? Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck was that? My friends. Have you been doing well? We've been great. How about you? I didn't know you were such a busy consultant. My days have been quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shouzer requested my services. Bungle you, my Ms. dad. Shen, <laughs> I presume you must be looking to settle in the city? I must say, the name Shenyun sounds exceedingly strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. Whatever for? Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Well, that is true, but... <sighs> Alas, refer to me however you will. After all, a name exists such that others may address you with it. One is hardly ignorant of that fact. <laughs> It would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. One has indeed. One's previous days were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, one has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city, as well as the people's hard work and ardor. This city mm. is much changed from how it was more than a thousand years ago. Not unlike Names the exist to be known. That's why I never tell people so my name. <laughs> shall the movement of people yeah, the moment they know my name, they can suck my soul out peace. and put it into in a camera film, right? That's how that works? Humans. Oh, oh, shit. For one day. No need to get also, uh, for cross, one it is uh, like 426, just so you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You make a valid point, Paimon. I'm sadly now that the aware. Concluded, what yeah, I didn't want to remind you, but I still need to be late for work. Specialty dishes together. One must profess great interest in trying bamboo shoot soup. Mm. Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. You were at the table on that occasion, so logic dictates that you should have already tried it. Oh? What occasion was this? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. 
Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion. Or perhaps our other companions simply availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. <laughs> Hardly. T'was most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. A oh, whoa? Could you demonstrate that to me, mommy, in private? It is settled then. Bamboo oh shoot cross. soup, <laughs> more meat, crab roe tofu, triple layered consomme. We shall enjoy the lot. What, 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 when, when your bird mommy promises to show you the deafness of her hands, a whoa. One has already <laughs> passed word to Shenhun Gan to make a reservation. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. Is that agreeable to everyone? <laughs> it should be a most splendid occasion. All right, thank you, Cloud Team. Shoo you. Come now, it is time to dine. Ah, this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is, um... A humble employee of Wang Cheng Funeral Parlor. I thought she said time to die there for a second. <laughs> time to die! <laughs> Get behind the shed right now! <laughs> Damn. I mean, you started it. <laughs> I just hurt some, but you took it to a whole different level, Graz. <laughs> Have you ever tried Adeptus' Temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. You know, because it's super tempting and stuff. Is that true? Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation... Girlie said, may I have your name, please? Then it will have gone forever. <laughs> Damn, bro. Huh? Why are you all laughing so fast? Hey, wait for Paimon! Hey, hey, wait up! That's your fault for flirting with the fairy girl, man. Flirt with anyone, but just not a fae. All fays are assholes. Truly. All right. Look at my Auntie Ethel. <laughs> What's wrong, sweetums? All right. But uh, that aside, that is the end of stream. Mwah. I will see you guys this weekend because sadly, uh, Friday streams are no longer a thing for like four to five months. But uh, and after that, I'll probably find like a nursing job somewhere and we'll have to figure out a new schedule again ah! but for now this is where we end uh, i'm gonna run the ending ad break Mwah. i love you guys you guys are the best Mwah. take care stay safe have a wonderful night and yeah ba -ba -boo. that was fun yeah we'll do silver uh silver sorry black swan <laughs> wrong color we'll do black <laughs> We'll do Black Swan polls uh, this Saturday. Uh, uh, Gabagool. I mean, I'm still, I, I, I'm still gonna be in call for like another ten minutes or so, but not for very much longer. Um, I actually have to take off right now. Oh, uh, like... rip. Yeah, but I'll yeah. be down for later. Yeah, later tonight for sure, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Timing. Bye, Juno. <laughs> Bye, Juno. Bye, guys. Stay safe. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, Rubber. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs>